everybody. Welcome to the official beginning of Cyber Week, even though it's not fully week, maybe five Cyber Days. Five Davis five days of Cybersmas. Five, five, five. Is it five? Where am I? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If you don't count today, it's five. And today is practically oh half over? I don't know. Nobody knows what anyone's doing anymore. Uh, I'm going to play Cyberpunk games, though. And uh, uh, I'm starting with Observer System Redux, a game you can get on goodoldgames.com. I, a, uh, a game storefront that I'm pleased to say I'm now officially partnered with, which is to say that I have a tracking link now, and they give me free games. So hooray! Hooray for good old games! Um, I've actually been a huge fan of that storefront for a very long time. Not to mention God Galaxy, like, I've, I've chilled for them plenty in the past <laughs> without getting free shit. But now I get free shit! Hooray! Uh, they don't, um, they don't have an affiliate program yet, but they will. And when they do, I'll put links around and you can spend money and I'll get money from that. And then everyone benefits. Also, somebody in this household works for CDPR, so it's, it's just the, the laundry machine of money. It never stops. As long as you guys keep giving me money. Though it never stops, that is. So <laughs> Pump for some more VIP or band. Um you gotta you gotta earn the channel points. I guess I guess I could I guess there's those wager things now. Bruce was running his own salty bets, which is a really cool idea. Oh fool, I actually saw your I saw your whisper early. So uh earlier. So I have that tab open, I just haven't listened to it yet. Oh water? Let me see if it works. Oh well it kinda works. Well, that's not good. Huh. I added them to another scene, and I don't know if the, like... I don't know if the script is working properly or not. I'm gonna try again. Hmm. That's odd. I wonder what's happening there. Well, it plays like one frame, and then it stops. I'll have to keep messing with that. I didn't really test it. I moved it to a new scene, because it's not... It's not, uh... It's not Witcher anymore. All right, let's uh, let's focus on the task at hand. Is that is that on or off? It's on. Okay, ray tracing. This is a ray traced game, so we're gonna get we're gonna get big time ray tracings. This is also uh, I love Bloober Team. And this is the one Bloober Team game I haven't finished. Well, I guess that's presumptive of me. I played the Layers of Fearses, and I played. The year Wait, Soma wasn't Bloober. Anyway, if they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. First, there was the nanophage, the disease of transition. A digital plague that swept across the land, killing thousands upon thousands of augmented souls. A heavy cost for meddling with our... Yeah, someone was frictional, and they did the new amnesia. Then yeah, that's right. came the war. Malcolm, yeah, it's, it's supposed to be overlaid on top of things. The great it's just... decimation. Oh, the there it goes. killed the East. The East killed... Sort of? The oh, boy. There were no winners. I don't know Except what I did. Kyra, How did I mess that up so bad? Seized power and forged the Fifth Polish Republic, mm. a crooked empire of blood and ash. There was no one left to oppose them. But still, the yeah. endured. Rest in and peace, Rutger Hauer. That is the actor that you are hearing now. Richer, Passed away in 2019. Away in their hovels, desperately looking for ways to escape reality. What's up, totally not Michael C.? Hello. I am what they fear. A corporate tool of oppression. A despised leech that creeps into your dreams and feeds of your fears. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me. To access you, to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever's hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozalski. I'm an observer. I, when I first, this game, this game had a weird reception for me, because I was super excited about it, but I didn't think it was going to be, like, horror, because that's what Bloober did, and I thought they were just going to break from that and do, like, a cyberpunky game, but no, it's cyberpunk horror. It took, it took a while for that to kind of click with me. Oh, that was me. That was this, by the way. Don't check your PC for weird things. You there? Come 
Come in, Lazarski. Lazarski, you there? Gotta turn that sensitivity down a smidge. Always. I have it set to that pro gamer DPI. There we go. Wait a minute, and let's tick that tick that old thing. Still feels pretty, pretty sensitive. Shoop. Yeah, I'm here. Why does that feel more okay sensitive? There? What the heck? I want to talk on my cyber phone. Uh, Maybe I actually need to change it at the mouse. For the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream meter treating you? Well, I'm not a vegetable yet. Could have fooled me. Hardy are. I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? I will. In a moment. Do it now. I need you in good shape. Yes. <sighs> <sighs> How old is this game? Uh, there you originally go. came out in already. 2017, yeah. I think. Wouldn't want me to miss Re-released this year. Please Actually, in the past month, I think. Another leech goes berserk. Don't be like that. It's just. Yeah. yeah. What's this about? Just checking in, or you need me downtown? Nah, just a checkup. No one left for you to interrogate. Sounds pretty bad. Yep, not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place, securing the area. Covering your tracks, you mean? Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. I'm just looking at myself in the rear view. How'd you get this frequency? Don't you recognize me? Oh, what's up, Rocket Splinter? Adam? Yes. Well, what's left of me? Dad. What happened? Where where have you been all this hey, time? Tom made it. Thank you very much for the prime. Away from you. Oh. It's funny. Thought it would be easier. To hear your voice after all these years. But it really isn't. Come on, Adam, don't start. I really thought I could pull it off. You know? It was so close. Making a difference. Just setting us all free. And now it's... Can't be for nothing. Doesn't matter. Tell me where you are. I'll come and get you. Shit. Dad. For once in your life, just listen to me. Whatever happens, I need you to remember. You're not in control. Adam, can you hear me? Hey, you like this one, Icy Cucumber? You're still there? Adam. I I played it for like an hour. Dad? Dad. And I remember, I remember just kind of not yeah, understanding what it was idea. trying to do. Just I think it is just a spooky, a spooky, like, cyber haunted mansion. I think it's a, I think it's a walking sim. A spooky walking sim. I mean, Bloober's are really good at making them out, so. Triangulating board. I guess it just felt like it was going to be something a little bit different. Location established. PK Onet, thank you for gifting five subs. I still need to play observation. But... Adam, the stacks. Thank you. You just had to hit bottom. How's that ray tracing kicking in? Thank you very much, Onet. Rock fucking bottom. And then yeah, old uh, old Rutger is, is sounded pretty grizzled in this. Which is okay, because he's kind of a burned out brain detective. It 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 fits. Also, I think he's playing as a, he's playing a Polish character. I think, but I could be wrong about that. That's loud. Are you gonna play Ghost Runner? Yes, I'm doing that after. I'm gonna play this for a couple hours. 
see if I can see if I can get back into it. I'm trying to play through Doom Eternal on the medium difficulty and it's kicking my ass. Oh man, that game that game's that game's tough. Medium, it is a hard game on its normal difficulty. Like Doom Eternal is, I think, a game where you can adjust all of the difficulties down one. So easy is normal, normal's hard, hard is very hard, harder is extremely hard, and nightmare is just a whole other thing. Ancient Gods is killing you, yeah. Ancient Gods is same thing except it starts from the end of Doom Eternal. Does the GOG link work if I already have an account there? Yes, but there's no real use for it yet. Um, I mean, I'm sure that they'll there will be a click somewhere that'll be registered, but... Mostly, I'm just here to tell you that that store is pretty good. When I have a, like a, when there's actually a referral program in place, where if you buy stuff, I get paid, you can better believe I'm gonna let you know about it. But until then, it's all easy breezy. Is this what I, is this what the world looks like when you've got cyber eyes? Because I'm okay with that. Why am I mad at this vacuuming robot? Oh! This seems like a very pleasant vacuum bot. I don't know why I'm screaming at it. I do like the idea that... That I'm playing a, just a very old, bitter... Crotchety jerk who screams at robots. Oh yeah, this even takes place in Poland. That's right. Watch Hugo Martin's playthrough yesterday? No! He did a playthrough? What is that? What is it? What is it? What is it? Okay, so it's like... This is like, what, 60s Poland? S future cyber 60s Poland? That's what this uh, iconography kind of looks like. I mean, that's pretty straight up. That's like modern throwback 80s. He plays a level every two weeks or so? Cool! What? That's awesome! Where is that happening? Is that on YouTube or is that on Twitch? That's cool! No, I'll have to check that out. Oh hey, you just been sitting you just been watching me bonk on everything. <laughs> Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh. Tenant. Okay. Huh? They're on Bethesda channel? Cool. Uh, I'll what? check it out. No. Family. Family. <laughs> no. Tenant. That's some good ass lighting though. Um, sort of. Sure, we'll just say yes. Name. Ooh. Last name, Glazowski. Mm. Not on the record. Yeah, I guess dialogue trees are kind of new for Bluebird games. Tenant. Name. I got the name wrong. Grabinski. Leon Grabinski. Tenant. Apartment 7. What's thumping back there? Ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn Errant right, Gant. Turn left. Thanks for Straight gifting ahead, us up. Right. Are you going to play Syndicate? Yeah, I got it. Um, Backwards and forwards. Believe it or not, I've never actually played the old Bullfrog Syndicate. No, I, um, I do fondly remember the 2012 Syndicate. I actually really liked that one. But yeah, my understanding is the, uh, the original Syndicate is... um. It's like a turn-based isometric strategy game, right? I didn't have a PC back when that game was a thing. Congrats on the Ultra Nightmare run? Yeah! We got it done before Cyberpunk and Witcher 3, no less. But you're right. Um, that would not have been the case if... I mean, shh, If it had come out in April, that would have... That shit would not have happened. You gotta really muscle into this door. Ooh, Cyber. Attention, citizens. Curfew is now in effect in all Class C districts. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holographic content. Thank you for your cooperation. It's not cyberpunk unless it's raining and there's smiling cyber ladies trying to sell you things. <laughs> your lead doors? Eh. Nope, wrong way. Eh, stop it. Okay, that works. 
Maybe I just gotta open them and then bonk into them and that'll... Yeah, that... Oh, seems to be the case. Damn. I don't remember this game looking this cool. This is like, vaguely Tron-esque. It almost feels like I have, you know, like, Batman Detective Cyber Vision turned on all the time. I think there's a weird mismatch between my, like, look sensitivity and then how that gets, uh... Like, how that gets translated into into moving physical objects. Don't just random code on things, man. That's cyberpunk as hell. Put some more DOS on that. Give me some more terminal. Devil at the terminal by 4D3D3D3, please. Adam? Ooh, there seems like every time it transitions environments, or rather, that it, uh, it changes lighting, there's a bit of a chunk. That must be that RTX kicking in. I gotta admit, though, it, it is... It does make these, these interiors look really good. Like this? This is cool stuff. Oh, that reminds me. Guys, I have, good, I have, I have news to share. I have news to share, and it's going to make you hate me. I'm gonna tell you a thing, and you're gonna hate me for it. So get ready for that. As I as I said yesterday, I was lamenting that uh, I had missed my window to buy a 3000 series video card. I actually wrote to EVGA and said, "Ah, uh, I miss I missed my window. Is there anything that can be done?" They actually just wrote back and said, "Sure, we'll just ex we'll just extend you another offer, a one-time courtesy." They called it. So they they opened it up again. I ordered one. And it already shipped. I need to check the and apparently it's going to be here tomorrow. So, shoutouts to, shout to EVGA. And I think specifically Dan, the guy who, who wrote to me. Uh, Dan's a real one. And did me a, a huge solid. So, <sighs> turns out that worked. Work card 3090 at 3080. Um, it's one of the few cards that will actually fit in my computer case without me having to, like, use a... Uh, Use a Dremel to chisel out some metal that's <laughs> that's use useless now. It's got like five and a quarter bays that, you know, those those don't do anything now. So I got very lucky. Um, I guess it was a combination of luck and then um, Six million the fact that I actually did sign up and wait in line. But yeah, Dan's a real gamer. Appreciate Dan out there. Yeah, Christmas coming early in the Law Dog household. So. H M got to start somewhere. So I am super lucky. How much how much how lucky can one guy be? With an ID mixer. Identification not possible. Damn it. ID mixer sounds pretty cool. <laughs> I'm using my fame. I didn't I didn't drop anything. I just politely asked, "Hey, can anything be done?" Maybe I can, like, get a head start on the next line or something? But Dan was out there being real. What life path will you choose for a Cyberpunk first playthrough? Probably, I think, Corpo. Because I want to see, I want to see big, expensive buildings. Indicating the killer was in a frenzy. So wait, it was... No one... Actually, had have the likeness of... Older silver Rudger Hauer. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it's E and Q and F. All right. The head was removed post mortem. It's possible the killer took it. I went Nomad for the exact opposite. Yeah, you want to like see the more Mad Maxi part of the universe. I hear you. I mean, there you know plenty of time for as many playthroughs as possible. Get a male or v female V. Um, probably first play through mail. Just because I, the voices are both really, really good, but I, there's just some kind of like 
weird New Yorkish uh, kind of like Jersey tinge to to male V that that is pretty endearing and I kind of like for the sort of character I'm gonna play. Actually, mm, no, you know what? Now that I thought about that, I think I gotta rework that. I think actually female V works better as Corpo, and male V works better as like Nomad or a Street Kid or something like that. Now that I think about it, that kind of clicks. So maybe I'll go female V first. Maybe, maybe. That actually kind of closer, close, more closely matches the character I think I was gonna play. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like all the little false, false positives that pop up and then they just get screened out. That's really neat. That's a neat effect. So those are. Hmm. Controlled substance 45F, better known as feed. You'd never touch this, girl. Female voice with giant dong is possible. That's true. I don't need giant dong the first time. I will need a like a pneumatic gorilla grip clam though. You never cared about this stuff. I will absolutely need the, the most data storage. The encryption is too complex for my hacking tool. I'm taking it with me. Might be able to decode it later. Okay. Cool. Hot trash, it's true. It's true. Hmm. I guess there's the whole thing. Collateral damage or evidence disposal. I want to do a Tiny Dong Corpo playthrough. Where he plays an asshole is insecure about his penis, so he takes it out on others. That sounds cathartic. <laughs> Finally, I get to be this guy. I'm so tired of living every day with my giant penis and my immaculate self-esteem. I'm just switching the kitchen. Okay. I'll get to that in just a second. Finally, video games giving me the fantasy I want. To buy a giant truck and project crazy hard on the internet all day about real men being men. That's like such a t an old processor too. That's like a, a 1997 Pentium. Oh my god. I just realized all the... There, there are scenes of like... There's this typical scene that happens in a lot of Bond films where he'll like taste caviar and then name the year. Or taste wine and then name the year and the, and the winery it came from. Just to prove how elegant and smart he is. But really, honestly, if you kind of view those movies in a fun vacuum of not thinking he's cool, it's uh, for you, Adam. It's actually a really annoying thing that he does as a character trait. To, to just show off how much he knows about fucking caviar. Anyway, uh, I just kind of did that, didn't I? With, uh, with processors, so that's not so good. At least it's contextualized in that apparently he's a, he's a lover of the classics. Yeah, that shit is old. It's got USB ports though, whole stack. And a, a weird backplate heatsink. That's a little overkill. Come on, come on guy. Okay. We don't have anything to say about that. All right. <laughs> James Bond is autistic. <laughs> that's a pretty. That's a pretty interesting take on. Oh, he's got a, a server blade. Looks like a wow. One of those wow server blades. Pretty interesting take. It turns out he was the most representative of them all. Well, I can't hack it. No, no super hacks here. We don't do that. Oh, you're right, Alder. Of course. Actually, 
Okay, I didn't know if they were gonna. I didn't know if they were gonna do the thing. Yeah, I'll be. Don't tell me the code if you know it, obviously. Well, maybe not, obviously. <gasps> Physics. I will admit, I do enjoy games whose mechanics involve just rooting around in places. You know, your your standard Shenmue's, your drawer opening simulators. Who doesn't need a spare a spare junk keyboard in their kitchen? Can I open those? Aw. Oh, I already opened these. What is Half Life 4? All the interactivity you could ask for. I can touch everything. It's like I'm there. Well, this does remind me of a Half-Life Alex playthrough. That was so fun. I was I was I was on some pretty intense edibles for a good chunk of it. Just picking up things and dropping them. There must be a way to deactivate it. Man, what good times. What good times. Turns out Gaben got a few tricks left in him after all. Okay, well, I guess the this puzzle's solvable in this area. I got the chip I can't hack. Maybe he wrote, wrote the number in blood. Persona 5 is going to get announced for Steam on the Game Awards. Huh. That seems like that seems like it adds up. I th the last thing I s oh, there's a door here. <laughs> Jesus. The last thing I saw, I guess, the last speculation was that it was Scramble that was going to get announced for uh, for PC. But that was just somebody saying a thing on the internet, you know. Synchrony refilled. All right. <laughs> Is the blood dry? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know that I, I saw that information in my cyber scan. It's hard for me to imagine that the bio scanner doesn't pick up anything in the restroom, but... Whatever, man. Well, that didn't do anything. I do like how, like, soft and glowy the lighting is in these interiors. This is kind of some... This is some ray tracing business. How, like... Just utterly, like, thick and fuzzy all the lighting looks. <sighs> Oop. Oh, there's a hack button. All right. <sighs> Didn't even notice that. Of course. Of course it's time to hack. <laughs> oh. That's it? I get one? That seems that seems like an odd mechanic. Yeah, I got one of them. Okay. Hmm. This is a bit different than than um than their uh Layers of Evil stuff because there weren't really a whole lot of environmental puzzles in Layers of Evil. Then again, this could very well not be a puzzle at all, and I am simply missing something very obvious. It tends to happen. Oh, 
More drawers. Hell yes! Oh, is that aborted? Oh, really? Well, I didn't get the option again, though. How is that powered inside the drawer? Absolutely absurd. Chiron Incorporated. High level clearance. Looks genuine, but it's expired. Well, look in the far left closet. Alrighty. I feel like at this point I've wasted enough time. Oh, was it in... Oh, I got it. It is fairly obvious. You're correct. There we go. Sometimes in video games I think too video gamey. Where it's like... It's like, oh, if there's a code, there's going to be, like, a video game mechanic. I think there's some times where I've... This, well, I hesitate to say this because it sounds too humble braggy. And it sounds like I'm trying to uh, to compensate for being stupid. Which is true. But sometimes I think I've played too many video games where I start to look for the trope instead of what's right in front of my face or using non-video game logic in, in, a in a certain circumstance. Usually in that situation, there's, like, a number written on the wall. Or there's a note you have to pick up. Or... There's a mini game you have to learn to to crack the notepad open. So for it to just be an innocuous environmental number is pretty cool, and I think it you know sets tone. I prefer that kind of that kind of puzzle stuff. It's like it wasn't a letter where it's like I changed the code on my security panel. The new code is 1984, like the book in my closet. <laughs> That's usually what video games would do. <laughs> Hmm. Uh-oh. I do like the idea that we have these hollow displays, but we're still using, like, the same font from DOS 4.0. I love it. It's so readable. Uh-oh. Wait. This is a guy, journalist, who got murderfied. I've deactivated the apartment security system, leaving the crime scene. First chunk of Cyber Week, Cyber, first chunk of Cyber Week, Cyber Lore. You're right. This just doesn't feel right. You're still alive. I know it. Why is nothing cybery anymore? Attention, this is a sanctioned lockdown procedure. Now the FOV changes when you sprint. Hell is going. It sounds like the building is walking away. Hmm. Yeah, we're good. To keep password, do you keep the password to your important information hidden clues around your work area? No, but people do that. People will write it on a sticky note and leave it on their desk. That is, uh, that is not uncommon. Hey, PD, I need to Ooh. talk to you. You broke it! No, you broke it! Nuh-uh! Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here! Yeah, what's this about? Do you know the tenant in Corporate 7? Dad, Tommy's picking on me! Shut up, snitch! I thought I told you! 
told you to shut up! Seven, huh? Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well, seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? Police business. Just answer the question, and I'll get out of your face. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Why don't you knock on that door and see for yourself? Can you describe him or not? I don't have time for games. All right, all right. Younger fellow, probably in his 20s. Well, anything else? Nah, I never really got a good look at him. Medium height, medium built. He was just kind of there, you know? Is everything all right in there? What? Oh, yeah. You know how kids are these days. Do I? Yeah, you gotta be strict with them, or they'll just walk all over you. Usually, I just sit them down in front of the projectors, keeps them nice and quiet. But the thing just went and died on them. Cheap American crap. <laughs> well, shut up already. <laughs> keep it down a bit. The building is under lockdown. People are on edge as it is. Is that so? You think just because you're a cop, you get to boss me around. Hey, what's up, Glavin, Chris? Tell me how to raise my kids? Did I say that? I got my pride, you know. I'm not just some bottom feeder. I work for the corporation, too. You do? Yeah. I'm in uh, the uh, repossession department. Dad is going to get you. He'll cut you up like those other suckers. Dad, Tommy's trying to scare me. What did I say? Don't make me come over there. So how's that working out for you, Repo Man? Best fucking job in the world. They just give me a name and the implant serial number, and I take back what's owed. You make it sound so easy. Whatever they refuse to give it back. <laughs> That's when I get my toolbox. I'm telling you, the look on their faces... It never gets old. Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? So cyberpunk. Many strangers. Yeah, this is a weird conversation. This is a weird one. Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of them. You are so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh-uh. You're way dumber. Shut the fuck up! Not upstanding citizens like you. You bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay. Cyberpunk has happened. It's just random... Random cabinets in the hallway? This place does kind of suck. Oh, Dr. Eleven, by the way. Thank you for the Prime. Software, thanks for the Prime. Lord Gygus66, thanks for the Prime. Tom made it. Happy Friday to you. Thank you for making it. Look at those reflections, though. Look at that RTX kicking in. Uh, Krispy Kreme, thank you for the sub. It is, in fact, Cyber Week. It happened. We got here. This is like a card swiper. They got a little digi doormat? I want a digi doormat. Uh, an Alexel cop. Thank you. Thank you very much for the sub. Thank you very much for the resub. It is it is in Poland, yeah. This is this is canon in Poland. These are all Polish people. Oh good. I will press this to hack. Okay, so you have like a certain amount of time. Sko guy, thank you for the prime. This game looks next gen. It's got that sick, sick, sick lighting. I think they did release this on next gen ah, consoles. That was weird. I did. You ladies, be careful. <laughs> did the door out there. slam on me? <laughs> Jay Borden, thank you for the 42069. Hell yeah. 
the most elegant of all numbers. Like each each apartment has a different like door ringer system. You gotta make do in the stacks. In the cyber stacks. Ain't no one watching your back. What might that be? This is half life. Watching you, I have for some time. And though you might not yet realize we are meant to be together, this shrine is my gift to you. This and three others like it. Please notice me. Whoa! Those bloody spiders again. Is this like a. It's like Chip's Challenge? Okay. And then, ha! Cool. Okay. All right, I'm kind of, I'm getting it. Okay, all right. Why do I have 109 mans? <laughs> I do like that cover art though. Nothing says PlayStation 2 like a, a nice stroke around a Star Trek font. Or wait, that's more... I've seen that, I've used that font before. I think it's just like one of the one of the fonts you find if you just like Google science fiction font. 109 moves? Oh yeah, that's probably way more likely. Good point. Speaking of like counting moves, I was watching somebody play a little bit of Wizardry 4, and apparently that game has like a move cap. Where if you uh, if you hit the hit too many buttons, the game's over. But I think it's like 100,000. Oh, it's the Spy Hunter font. <laughs> of like the new Spy Hunter, the PS2 Spy Hunter. Can't let the door open. This is making me think about Ati, but I know that that's Finnish and not Polish. It's different. What the? Oh. Another swiping more people's cyber drugs. What a day. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll steal the janitor's drugs. Why not? This, this could be your home office. Why isn't it? Why isn't there a grid of CRTs mounted on the wall that have flickering cyber eyeballs in them? This game reminds me a lot of games. It's got that energy about it, doesn't it? Why is this one outlined, but none of the other ones are? Let's turn on all PCs. All power sources. Okay, well, I guess there's just nothing in here, then. Alright. This game reminds me of Neuromancer. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's certainly very cyberpunk. He's soldering the door shut? Or welding it shut? Yeah, What's up? I'm gonna take a peek at what's going on with this water break thing here. Yeah, it's not playing. That's very odd. Why 
aren't you playing properly? What's going on there? Huh? Now let's take a water. Oh. That's very, that's very weird. None of them are playing. They just come, oh, they just do that. What the heck? Maybe I gotta do this. Maybe each one is putting like a file lock on it. And then if it leaves it open on any of the other layers, it doesn't like that. Or OBS is just really messed up. It's so weird, I gotta keep like, you know when, when you tinker with tech stuff, you have no idea how close things are to breaking all the time. Like, you use something and it works, right? And uh, and you tend to think that, oh, well, it must work all the time. But if you use it just a little bit outside of any of that, it just breaks immediately. Did you hear about Bruce Breading's streamer points yes yet today and yesterday? I mean, yeah, I, I saw a stream title. Now let's take a water break. Oh, there Relax, it goes. Have okay. some liquid, not too much, and keep your energy up. I mean, he's, he's reinventing Salty Bet. <laughs> it's... it's Which is pretty cool. I guess channel points make it feel like it's uh, more approachable. You don't have to like sign up for another another account or anything. Now let's take a water there we break. go. Relax, now our water break's working again. Not too much and keep your energy up. Fast way to get a VIP or ban. Eh. I don't want to overinvest in that, like, so that, that stuff is fun. It's fun to tinker around with, like, Twitch's tools and stuff, but, like, making content expressly about that, I don't know, it's time spent not playing video games, you know? And, and legitimately, kind of, the last thing I want to do is make the stream about the thrill of gambling and winning versus just hanging out talking and playing video games. Which is not to imply that that's what Bruce is doing. Which is not to imply that anyone uh, would, you know, just get so hooked after a couple of days of di dicking around with Twitch points that that would happen. But you know, any opinion on the Atari VCS? Yeah, that's their new thing, right? I gotta admit, I haven't I haven't looked at it much. You keep records of your attendance. I need to match your name to it. Uh, I don't know much about it. Register. Office. Authorized. Personal only. I'm a police officer. That's authorized enough. <laughs> I know for what you are. Oh, yeah? Back during war, took one and I... The Bud Light console? Man, I wish. Sent for one. Now for you <laughs> to get into his head. You fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk? I want a console powered by Bud Light. Plasma Delicious, speed. refreshing Bud Light. Hit our convoy. Of course you did. <laughs> Barreled through armor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. What could you tell me about the tenant in apartment 7? Tenant. Yeah, Tenant. How long has he been living there? You excited for Matrix 4? Yeah. yeah. Maybe longer. I like I like all Wachowski things. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, Tin Man. Let me know if it comes back to you. Hmm. Watching some of your first streams, it's pretty wild how different you are in terms of how you presented yourself. It was definitely more of a louder, more hyper act since you just come off YouTube. It's more mellow and way better now. Um, yeah, I was I was a lot more scattershot back then. I was definitely a much more volatile person. Um, also, was kind of new at it, so you you can't burn hot on Twitch if you're gonna stream for like eight to nine hours. It's I guess it's possible to just be up here all the time, but usually people start to you know use substances to to sustain that nah this is this is much more sustainable i think ready for all the matrix characters to be trans i mean yeah sure <laughs> fuck it why not <laughs> i'm down um my understanding is that was a pretty i mean you can still see it 
Uh, but there was still supposed to be a pretty strong... Like, the character Switch was actually supposed to switch genders, right? I think that was, like, something I'd heard about Matrix 1, is that in the Matrix they were a different gender because it was your digital projection of... What is it? Something projection of your digital self or something like that? Which makes sense. It's like you're... I do, I do also like how Neo is still just a kind of a frumpy white dude <laughs> in the Matrix because he's living his truth, I guess. But yeah, I'm down. Sure, fuck it. Swap all, just mix all the genitalia up. Who cares? As long as there's some cool fights. Cool fights and weird philosophy. Give me a brain tickler and a slow motion super kick. And uh, you got me. You got me hooked. Something triggered the lockdown. Mm. Trying to get it open. Rudy and I. You think it might be the nanophage? I was trying to get it open. Yeah, any recent outbreaks? Oh yeah, an orgasm yeah. cake, yeah. Last one. When that lady's Long time. That lady's cervix was detonated no. by chocolate mousse. Good shit. All the implants. Bad the implants. Damn, this dude is fucked. I take it, Rudy's the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance. Drone, don't lose it. What? Mm. Wand is off. Do you think Neo will meet up with the next person who will be considered the one considering it's a reboot after the third film? Drink. Well, it, it wasn't a reboot after the third film. Um, Neo achieved... Uh, what's the word? Actualization. He was able to harness his free will in a direct and, and unoccluded way and to see he's the first person to see actual truth or whatever. Um, but m my understanding of the third movie was that he like merged with the machines and that they would find a way to live together going forward and somehow in the process of that had also um, like my understanding was that that requires coexistence which requires acknowledgement it requires it requires a uh, neither party being a slave class which is kind of the was kind of the narrative of the original which which it also hooked onto very philosophical concepts about work and ownership and free will and all that stuff so it's it's going to be difficult i think for them to do a matrix for while acknowledging all that philosophical load and adding to it or saying something meaningful in addition to all that while also following the beats of the story uh i mean like at this point like, Neo can show up as anything, and as long as it's inside the Matrix or whatever. He can manifest in any way, because he's kind of God at this point. But not like a... Not like a... doesn't have a man's concept or a man's intellect. He's, he's an entity. He... I mean, there in some philosophies, too, they, they hint that, like, divinity is simply being able to perceive truth without the fuzz of your own perception or the, the clouding of your... your the, the prison of your own mind getting in the way. So it makes sense that once he transcends those things, he's he is a deity. Um, they were a matrix in a matrix the whole time. Yeah, yeah. That's the. Are your notifications on? About what? Yes. Um, I mean they're not. They're never on because of some annoyances. But thank you very much for the 420 and the lull. I appreciate that. Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? So there's you know. The message out. No. I am. Fascinated to see what the, what they'll do. I, should, I say they. It's it's just Lily Wachowski, I think, on on Matrix Four, or is it Lana? I think it might just be Lana. Never mind. Yeah, we all know how that last one. How do you think they'll explain Trinity coming back? Is she cast? I mean, I could see it being something like. Oh, it's Lana. Okay, I could see. Um, I could see Neo being like Doctor Manhattan style in a garden of his own creation. Um, manifesting Trinity because it makes him calm or whatever. That's kind of what I see made, or Neo like now as a Dr. Manhattan who like, he alone has the ability to like perceive truth and see through people's prisons of self-awareness and stuff. Uh, and then there's still this narrative of people fighting and trying to convince humans to stop being prejudiced and trying to convince machines it's going to be okay. <laughs> Cloak Reaper. Ooh, child, you were the Matrix now. Do you like Cloud Atlas and Jupiter Ascending? I do. I actually do like both those movies. And I really like Speed Racer. Um, I have not seen all of Sense8. That's the, or, uh, what is it, Bound? The short that they did? Um, 
yeah, some of that stuff. That actually get gets a little too too in the sexual sexual thick thick of it for me sometimes. Um, I didn't really mind the sexual sexual stuff in in Matrix. It that kind of creeped some people out. But yeah, uh, Sense Eight got a little a little deep in there, literally sometimes. <laughs> some of the agents from the first one are coming back as well, but not Agent Smith. It's been it's been twenty years. Like that's weird. Are the agents gonna show up like old and busted? I mean, and granted, they could probably still look good, but the whole point of the the whole point of the the agents was that they were like plastic. They were like Ken dolls. They weren't. Oh, that'll be interesting. I I feel like there's a lot to do there and a lot to work in. Anyway, how about you show me that render spin now? Yeah, Agent Smith died. Damn it. As like as full of a philosophical and plot death as you can possibly have, Smith should be gone. H N. Eight N. Match. Yeah, and also agents shouldn't really be necessary anymore. Yeah, they were just programs. Novak. I'm speaking more about the physical appearance of them in the movie. Hana, Nader, one oh six. Thanks. Oh, Donkey's going through with his YouTuber death cycle. Why he? Oh yeah, he posted some videos like I'm tired of making good videos or something. Silent, thank you for the thank you for the prime. I'm gonna go nose around. I don't. Know. I've never I've never followed Donkey, so I do like some drama. I have to admit, I've been following this Mike Dara, uh, what is it, Cullen voice actor dude drama. This isn't that's that's a flare out and a half. Woo. What I could. Thanks. Sorry, I didn't even get your name. I'm Dan. Huh? Name. Janus. Like a Roman god. <laughs> you know. Good to meet you, Janus. Finally got a stay out of trouble. Finally got a joke out of this guy. Little little oh. chuckle. Oh. Yeah, Janice. Janice has been through some shit. That's for sure. <sighs> like how this shit's taped on me. Everything's so everything's so busted here. Wait, what? Oh, okay. 104 and 106. All right. Yeah, Hugh. Janus. Finished making some cold brew for my finals week. Just happens to be cyber week. Now my hands smell like coffee and life is good. Slow hipster, I'm glad to hear that. I'm pleased to announce I'm back on my coffee shit. Yes, that's right. Couldn't wait till 2020. But uh, I think once I got my my eating under a bit more control, my stomach issues have sort of, sort of mellowed out. I think it just turns out I can't do absolutely everything terrible to my stomach all at the same time. I think, <laughs> I think that's... That's what I'm going to go with in, in the near future. Oh, I have definitely seen Upgrade. You're right, it is the better Venom movie. I never thought about it that way. Yeah, Upgrade was pretty good. Pretty goddamn good. Yeah. Eh. Wait a minute. Ah. I guess I have to go back around to get to the other apartments again. gonna be a second 2020 not if I have anything to say about it I'm altering time I challenge time to a boxing match in my backyard show up if you dare I'm gonna drink some of my cold brew and meet you out there we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna rot we're gonna get rowdy we're gonna rustle that's what we're gonna do So I guess I guess this whole game takes place in this apartment complex, which kind of makes sense. Ugh. Oh man, maybe there's some cyber drugs on the ground that I can pick up, pick up and inject into my body. God, what a cataclysmic shit. That's what that's what happens when you've got a cyber a cyber ass. You can just completely shatter a sink and a toilet at the same hey, time. Come here, quick. 
What is it? I say, boy. What's up with the lockdown? Is it the phage? Was there an <laughs> Yo, Omega level? Too early to tell. I'm looking into it right now. Looking into it? Are you out of your mind? We might all be infected. You don't know that. Best thing we can do is stay calm and... And let them come and slaughter us? I won't let them take me. I won't. I think it was apartment four. Actually, wait a minute. That's right. How am I supposed to know if I'm supposed to dose or not? Is it this meter? You know what? I'll do something yeah. fun. Yeah. Strain level decreased. Good stuff. Okay. So the UI was all was all flickery because I was I hadn't I hadn't shut up some blue. What do you think of Oscar Isaac being cast as Solid Snake in the Metal Gear Solid film? I don't know what to think about that. He's good. I haven't seen him be like. Well, hmm. I guess I haven't seen him be super hard in, but it's like it's super hard with a smirk. Solid Snake, I feel like, is is kind of like. I mean, it's it's straight up, um, Kurt Russell. Like, that's the kind of like snarky, sh like think like cool dude, but kind of not vibe you sort of need for Solid Snake. I feel like. They can't play it straight. If they play it straight, it's going to be really cringy. So it's got to have a, like a bit of a nod and a wink to it. Because Metal Gear Solid had a bit of a nod and a wink to it. Um, so I think he's, I think Isaac's got got the ability to do that. I think he's got the comedic timing. I think he's got the... I don't know if he's got like the, the physicality. But I also haven't seen his entire filmography. So I truly don't know. Wait, I thought it was four. Is it not four? 106 and yeah, 104. Helena Nowak. Yeah, everybody wants to know how big that dump truck ass is. Open, open up. Well, I guess I'll go to the other one then. Choice between getting a card and waiting longer for a possible VIP is a tough decision. Hell yeah. Wait, 108? Alright, fine. 106 and 108. This is a busy, busy apartment complex. Oh, this is 008. Oops, I'm in the wrong building. Oh, I'm on the wrong floor. Yeah. Oh, numbers are tough sometimes. Let's wait a minute. Stairs? Remember there was like that map. It showed you standing right next to stairs. Misspelled name. Thank you for the resub. Oh, here we go. All right. Floor one. Let's start at the start at the. F hey, you. I can hear you out there. Help me, please. KPD, I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most likely, the voice seems really familiar. I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking. Oscar Isaac is jacked and ex machina. That's true. I don't know nothing. Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? He's a big boy. I'm confident he can do it. I just like well, Solid Snake is not that complicated of a character, guy. nor is that role that complicated to play. I mean, I think a lot of the like you've got to make it fun. You've got to make it self-serious but fun for the audience, and that that mystique is hard to hit and and a lot of people try it and it's it's really hard to like say she ran down to the really nail down what creates that environment anything else you can tell me about them what the couple don't know them that well the girl seems nice enough not sure about the guy though what about the girl 
Oh, she, she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping at shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect. We'll see you, Prime Class. I guess. Oh, Michael C. Metal Gear Solid has a pretty comprehensible and approachable storyline. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty um it's pretty straightforward. Three is pretty straightforward too. A lot of the other ones are just so so anime. It'll be interesting to see how they translate Hideo Kojima's idea of a tough guy character, which you probably based on tough guys from Hollywood films. I mean, yeah, it's it's uh. It's admitted in the games. He's just a complete carbon copy of a Snake from Escape from New York and Escape from L.A. Uh, or at least that's that's more thoroughly, more thoroughly uh, said out loud in Solid, solid Two. What can you tell me about the guy? Amir, I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know. What's the story through Kaz Miller's eyes? He sells the shit, too. Huh. How do you know that? What, the dealing? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I dealt he's the goddamn postman. I just think, like, it's it's gonna be a little hard, because everyone's gonna come at that movie wanting, like, oh, he's gonna fight all the members of Foxhound, right? But, like, a movie... Like, Scott Pilgrim is the only movie I can think of that was that managed to wrap the beats of like recurring boss fights into a movie and do it really well so it's possible um but i feel like again if you try to do that in a movie and not have it be fun or self-aware or at least at least a beat where you ask the audience to come along for the ride if you try to hit them with a super self-serious military drama and then you have to fight a fucking elite unit that have mutant powers that it's not, it's not gonna, like, the vibe won't be there. You need something like Kingsman, where it's, like, over the top from the beginning. And then you, you basically have to keep one-upping yourselves in terms of absurdity when it comes to the action. Which is also hard to do, because Solid itself always struck, tried to be, like, really self-serious and rooted at the, while also being silly as hell. So you had Super Serious Snake fighting a dude floating around telling you what was on your memory card. So it's, like... It's, it's this weird intersection of, of being self-aware and really goofy but also really self-serious and i don't know that people are gonna i don't know what people really expect from the movie if they expect that balance or that mix because nobody i didn't i don't think anyone appreciates the value of humor when it comes to making serious games enjoyable because if you have no humor then you get something like last of us part two um no one likes that so uh uh so I'm I'm really curious. I don't think people properly acknowledge how funny Metal Gear Solid is, uh, or like just on, on premise uh, alone, it really embraces its absurdity. And I think a lot of people were deeply emotionally touched by it. So I think there's going to be a problem where people watch the movie and they're either mad that it's it's so wacky, or they're m like, or they don't like it and they don't understand why. Um, I think I think it's going to be one of those things. Because it like won't have the same feel, but if it's actually comedic or goofy or absurd in a movie sense, then people will think it's not taking the subject matter seriously enough. Or I don't this know. kind of stuff happen all It's gonna be. It's gonna be weird. You see, the husband gets violent. Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just messed up. Then again. Oh yeah, Illmatic. This game's. It's not jump scary, but it's supposed to be like intense. I think. And unsettling. Well. Other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals? 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 Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something. So yeah, like the Max Payne movie was pretty self-serious, right? I actually haven't seen it. But I think Max Payne is a really good example of, like, the game is pretty silly. Thanks. You've been very helpful. Jaredot. You're really saying it for all of us, huh? P. Actually, I kind of have to pee now that you've, now that you've brought that up. Max Payne movie fucking sucks. That's kind of why I haven't watched it. No one said it's good. 
But nothing about the trailer implied that they kind of understood the jokey, self-aware tone of the game. Actually, really good, really good point of comparison there. Uh, I think I think Max Payne and Metal Gear Solid are pretty close in terms of tone. And I think if you try to make a, a really serious Metal Gear Solid, maybe you're going to end up with Max Payne. Anyone here? There's nothing come with the aesthetics of the game? No, of course not. They're, they're wildly different aesthetically. Aside from they're just being a tough guy with a gun uh, as, as the protagonist, but... Uh, I meant more in the sense of, like, the balance between... Jeez. Jesus. A second victim. The way that, that it conveys... Ridiculous action. Oh, Jesus. Don't be afraid. I'm here to help. Yeah, let's talk to him. What happened here? Jesus. Listen to me. The building's on lockdown. There's no way I can help you now. But I can get whoever's responsible for this if you help me find him. I can't understand you. Talk. There's another way. Your throat's been punched out. Talk better. No. Time to stab this man in the chips. Subject approved. Commencing neural interrogation. I've cyber hacked his brain chip. The game is super awesome because there's there's a super tragic plot, but then there are fourth wall breaks where he's like, I'm in a video game while tripping on drugs. That is what really gives it a good feel. I mean, yeah, and there are like silly gag moments in the beginning too. There's like, there's there's henchman humor, there's the Lords and Ladies TV show. There's that part where you open a door and then the wall like pl platters on you like uh, Charlie Chaplin style. And and Solid has those beats as well. It has Johnny Sasaki, it has, it has just like the really goofy genome soldiers. It's got the, like, very melodramatic storyline that I think is still wraps in a lot of just crazy absurdity into it by default. <clears throat> so, like, Kojima games are typically pretty goofy. Um, and I think that's real necessary. Um, you gotta you gotta be in a fun state of mind when they start swinging at you with the, like, oh, DARPA conspiracies and, and uh, G like, genome soldiers and les enfants terribles. And, like, if you're not, if you're not having a good time... The beats of the story are not enough to drag you along, because the beats of the story are Escape from New York. Um, and that movie had a really good time, too. Um, still bitter about Silent Hills? Well, apparently it might be happening, so maybe we'll save it. So, speaking of, though, somebody did mention, uh, has there ever been a good video game movie in Silent Hill? It's an excellent film. Great adaptation. Uh, wonder if they'll adapt Otacon's messed up backstory. This isn't Solid 2. There's no room for that in Solid 1. He's just your nerdy sidekick. And he gets to tell you it's like one of his Japanese animes. Yeah, there's going to be a fucking cyber ninja flipping out and cutting people in half with a katana. You, <sighs> you can't make a real serious movie that has a cyber ninja in it. That, like, is insane and, and weirdly masochistic and loves getting beat up. The Sean Bean one? Yeah, people call it that. Sean Bean was barely in it. Uh, I guess it's because no one, myself included, can remember the name of the lead actress, but... Yeah, they got they they got the Akira Yamoka soundtrack. They got it all. <laughs> Ultraviolet was super serious. Uh, uh, uh. All right, break time. Uh, I'm gonna go use the restroom. <sighs> Matrix, yeah, Matrix could. You could draw parallels for that being video game related. How can I get the quintessential G fuel? You have to buy enough other G fuels. So I get enough sales that they make a custom one for me. That's how. Alright, time for cyber urination. Be back. Uh, <laughs> you know, speed up. Yeah, lovely synapses. good times. I love that I love that you picked up on that, because yeah, he's high as shit. He's gotta be, right? That's Heinlein, I'm pretty sure. Like, yeah, man, cyberpunk is like like the future, you know? <laughs> yeah, that dude rules. Imagine doing a like an interview about cyberpunk and just getting fucking ripped up before that. Like you know when it's happening, right? You've got to know. It's not like it was a trick. 
They sprung it on you. Nah, he totally was like, okay, we're doing some stupid fucking cyberpunk documentary. I'm gonna blaze up in the bathroom right before. I like Heinlein. I mean, I do too. But. That's. Uh, I respect it. Like, I mean, whatever. Fucking musicians, artists do that shit all the time. Who, who cares? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, that was an intense sound. What are we observing? Is that you? Brains. I'm inside somebody's brain trying to figure out who stole their guts. Alright. Is that room just always the screech room? No? Okay. Why does the shower stop when I'm standing in here? <laughs> maybe I have to just let's just close that again. All right, or maybe I need to scan it or something. Oh wait, I don't have my cyber vision inside inside the brain. Inside brain dimension, it is only walking. Well, as much as I hate to admit it, there was a number there. Maybe I have to close it while you're inside. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's that's probably it. That's probably it. Oh, it won't let me. Oh, thank God. Okay. What's up, Tibbs? Welcome back. What, 120? Okay. Oh, ah. I'm getting cyber visions. Now I'm in the cyber vision room, all right. Saving up for one of those cards you got? Oh, well. Come and claim them. But I'll need those points. If you don't have points in hand, I can't be bothered. Oh, goodness. Yeah, this is starting to get spookified. Got a perspective hallway? Ooh. This is the kind of stuff that Layers of Fear 2 was really good at. Giving you, like, surreal spaces to move through. That sort of told a story, if you kind of just let it roll into you. Like a developer trading card. Made by the same team? Yeah, it sure is. Yep. I like Layers of Fear. Layers of Fear 2... What? Oh, shit. Layers of Fear 2 was kind of next level for me. Yeah, Fear was also very good. Fear was cool because you were a, an elite ops man, but they still found ways to make you feel vulnerable. Like, you could beat up all the super soldiers in the world, but, uh... Alma could still show up and just decide that you die. Alright, 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 birds. Ugh. Can you play Layers of Fear 2 without playing the first? Yeah, they're not connected at all. Like, thematically, maybe, but... It's more of an anthology type thing. What do you want? Do have to walk into the cyber cubes? Oh, I do. Alright. Jesus. People have made fear of a new FPS? What, really? I'm not familiar with that. Last I, like, that was... I mean, technically, it was Monolith, right? And they made Shadow of War. Um, I don't know if, like, the exact... The specific people who debbed fear have a new studio or something like that. 
Oh, if I want to go this way. Yeah, uh, thanks. All right. Love your little email Twitch cards with the stories. Hope this channel grows. You put the work in. Oh, well, thank you. Sol Zenitsen, thank you very much. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I. I don't really consider that work. Sometimes, sometimes it's a bit of. I gotta. I gotta shove myself a little bit, but. Honestly, that's more uh, a circumstance of like. I spent so long writing. I wrote so much that I. I do kind of have a. I developed some skill in writing. Fuck, man. Or it kind of comes a little more naturally than other things. So. I figured it's a skill set that I have. I might as well. Uh, might as well use it. Try to add, add a little value. Oh, is that the ice cream maker that uh, that cool dude was carrying off in Empire? Wilrow Hood? Seems like it. A lot of topic. I'm looking at the Cyberpunk stream re system requirements. Ah, I have an ultra-wide monitor. Does that affect this, the requirements? Would that impact the performance by a lot? It could. You are rendering more pixels. So it is sort of rendering at a higher resolution. Um... But like, it's not as, it's not as drastic as going up a resolution. So like going from 1080p to 4K, that's like way more pixels than doing 1080p and then widescreen 1080p. If that makes any sense. I was right in the middle of goring some pomegranates when the stream started making gooey noises from whatever fucked up person you found. Oh, and like, wait a minute. We got one of those breathing pomegranates. Time to throw it in the blender. Oh man. It's like it's bad enough when a light is, is moving back and forth, but when it's cyber flickering, that's when things are really messed up. Yeah, there's some observing happening, Katie. What's weird is this is an effect you kind of need motion blur for. I don't think this would sell very well. Well, no, I'd probably... Actually... I don't know that you can turn it off in this game. Yeah, you can't. Or can you? There's not really like an advanced... There it is. Oh! Alright. Oh, yeah. It looks different, but I think the effect still hits. Onderdonk? <laughs> Thank you for the sub. My 2080 Ti store was to push a lot of games over 1440... Or 144 FPS with ultra-wide 1440. That makes sense, actually, known organic beef. Um, 144 hertz is about what I get in normal... Non-ultra-wide non 1440p. So if you bolt on another 30% of pixels... It kind of makes sense that that would start to dip under 144. What route are you taking with Cyberpunk? You mean like Origin Story? I think I'm going to start with uh, Corpo, but I, I don't know where I'm going to go from there. Who knows Who knows what? Oh, man. Is this a cyber chunk? Are you still out there? I don't know if this is a game where you can die. This might just be puzzle and walk down hallway game. Pheasant Chromatic, thank you for the sub. That thing is moving though. Oh hey Alex. Well, I'm glad you like him, man. Just hanging out. Enjoying Cyber Days. These are the last Cyber Days. The the eve of the Cyber Days. Soon we'll live in a world where Cyberpunk is out and can be played. In a weird way, maybe we should try to be just a tiny bit sentimental for these moments? Do you like this game so far? I like where it's going. Oh, that's probably not the right way. Feels like I got reset. I do like these kinds of games, but I gotta admit, in this, in this circumstance, or in this setting, when I have, like, there's kind of a light on me, and I'm in a 
you know, there I'm around people. Okay, you can die, but it's layers of fear. Okay, so th there are like monsters that will grab you, but that's about it. Oh, is this telling me where to go? One next to the trash cans. Or maybe not. To the right of the trash can. That image doesn't appear to be in this room. Wait. A trash can, a fallen down trash can, and then a thing like. Yeah, this. Okay. Next to the shelves. Do like this. So this is a, you know, this is a neat puzzle. Uh, I guess it uh, it really remains to be seen, and, and Katie, maybe you can you can give me your uh, perspective on this. It remains to be seen how like literal the story is, because a lot of Bloober Team games like. There is a plot that you eventually uncover, sort of, but a lot of the um, a lot of the subtext of it is sort of implied through these these scare hallways that uh, have a lot of surrealist imagery and representative imagery. Uh, so I wonder where this lands on that spectrum. Like, is it super super literal at some point, or do you still just kind of have to piece it together? Do you like non-Euclidean experiences in games? Would you consider playing puzzle -based, a puzzle game based on such mechanics? Ooh, are you thinking of Super Liminal? Because the answer is I already have. Or the other one. <laughs> I can't remember the other... There was another one. I always drop the name of it. And it was bizarrely a kind of forgettable game. Antichamber, that was it. Thank you, Architecture in Tokyo. Yeah, that was it. You guys got it. Just got my bounty license? What's a bounty license? Called soup. I dig in, it's not getting any better. Don't remember the observer that well because I only played it once. Okay. More obvious and linear than layers of fear. Okay. I like me a good spooky hallway. I do. It's like PTSD. already have an official list of cyberpunk games you'll be going through before 2077 comes out i mean it's it's as official as as there being a text a text file yeah i'm gonna i'm actually gonna play ghost runner next uh, i'm gonna play this for an hour or two and then Move over to become a cyber ninja, like I'm always meant to be. Plus, yeah, Ghost Runner is just kind of my kind of game, I can kind of tell. So I'm excited to uh, to get started. I was saving it because there were other things that I just like really wanted to take care of. You know, wanted to be Doom Eternal, wanted to finish Witcher 3. Nothing but, nothing but gaming freedom now. Did the full release of that Super Mike and Horror game ever come out? Yeah, In Sound Mind. I think it did. I did not get back to it, though. There's that, and then there's uh, Paradise Killer. It's another huge game that I was really excited for, that I just did not get around to playing. So, I'm excited to do that. Still very much on my, uh, in my mind. Cool. I can't take it anymore. 
It's gonna be alright, girl. It's gonna be alright. I won't. I won't. I need a fix. Give it to me. Now. Fuck yes. Finally. Oh, that's true, uh, Kitty. Yeah, I do need to add um, 1992 Geralt <laughs> into the into Tech. It's like all the metal can uh oh shit 1992 all the uh all the metal um mugs that were in the cabinet kind of sound like they were all rattling around oh that's cool all your muscles and tattoos you were like a big wounded animal lost alone hey at least you know what you were getting into yeah i, I guess, guess i did, did. sickness and in health forsaking all others to have and to hold from this day forward until death do us part any regrets no hmm hmm amico is you gotta go all right See you later. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you had a good day. I hope you'll have a great tomorrow. It's Friday night, y'all. Friday night, y'all. I might, I might crack into a seltzer or two. Trying this drastic idea of... Maybe only having one or two drinks. Maybe. Saturday. <laughs> oh, it's Saturday for you? Okay. Already semi drunk. Nice job. Fridays are my Sundays. Oh, do you you work on the weekends? Yeah, there's something going on with the showers, huh? Alder Irish, you're a bit intoxicated now. Also good. JC, that is an interesting thought. You can do it. I, I mean, know you can. there's a few examples of uh of gentlemen discovering or looking at their their lady partners in new lights when they get sick and they have husky voices you have to try. Do it for me. so what he's like trying to kick a habit almost inhaled a pomegranate seed oh dangerous food i feel like i mean a pomegranate seed has like a really sharp edge but oriented correctly i think it could probably go down without fighting too hard Is that a bad shower? Do I want to go to this shower? Yeah. Some showers are spookier than others. You have to try. Do it for me. For us. Enough hoovering? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to... I mean, how... 
What, are you supposed to pick one up and then delicately place it on your tongue and eat one seed at a time? Psh. Pomegranates... Pomegranates' defense is that they're a pain in the ass to eat, but man, are they great. Some fruits don't make it easy on you. Scooping them with my mouth? <laughs> Across a plate or something? I guess that works, sure. Oh, hand. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> Thinking about those beans. Beans. I'm assuming these are all beans. They may not be. They're probably not, but... Hate pomegranate. Most inconvenient food ever. I don't understand how evolution did it any favors. Because it's getting eaten by animals who don't care. Animals will just plow through that stuff. I was gonna say though that like you'd think like kind of like the banana that they would have been able to breed a like a pomegranate that you just like press the top and all the seeds just kind of roll off. Oh goodness, what happened in the shower? Aborted. Subject expired during questioning. Oh, damn. Emergency extraction procedure successful. Imagine having some dude just like diving into your brain while you're dying, and all you can do is sit there and let him rummage around in your your thoughts. Cool shit. Way to die. Good stuff. Oh! Good stuff, though. Oh, yeah, I gotta. I gotta squirt blue. Yes. Give me some of that good shit. Uh. Imagine experiencing another man dying in your mind. Oh, damn, I didn't think about that. Hello. You must be Helen. What else are we hiding in here? Jeez. Cyberpunk. Oh, thank you, Action. Are you talking about the cyber apartment? Or this place that I'm in right now? Wouldn't that feel like a part of yourself dying? I guess so. Well, maybe. I don't know. Could you, could you link it to, like, Andy for multiple personality, maybe? All I know about that is the movie Drop Dead Fred, which is actually pretty legit. Actually pretty legitimate. Pretty... What the hell? Zorg. <laughs> Dutchy, it's true. Using good old games uh, store for this game is the most cyberpunk of all. Indeed it is. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. God, this this is such an old, chunky, like, 80s piece of crap. I'm going to brag about it again. I am now an official good old games uh, affiliate, so... I guess I need to disclose that because I got this game for free and I have to hashtag provide hashtag game provided with this one. Also the next one. Ghost Runner as well. Oh, I should probably make a command, huh? Nah. They have affiliate links, but they don't do anything yet, so <laughs> once once they do, I'll I'll get all of that working. <laughs> Avoid civic demotion. Remain active. Apply for apply for an authorized appointment now. Waste disposal technician. Ugh. Oh, 
Although equipped with protective gear, applicants are expected to possess exceptional tolerance of noxious odors. Nasal cavity filtration mods are an additional advantage. Applicants without protective implants are offered partial sensory deprivation procedure. Due to frequent exposure to biohazard materials, technicians are required to undergo daily biochemical scans. Great. A pest exterminator? Drone assembly line operator? God. What does that mean? What, uh, what specifically? Can we enter your name when we buy Cyberbucks? Uh, maybe eventually. Um, if, you, if you're referring to the affiliate program thing, right now it just means that I get free video games and I tell you to use the good old game store. That's pretty much it. Um, eventually, it means I'll have a referral link that if you buy stuff through that link, then I'll get a kickback. Um, I'm making this sound as, as like, as noxiously, as noxiously uh, advertising laced as I can, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not like being paid, like, I guess, I guess to really break it down, G Fuel pays me to be a sponsor, so I'm gonna mention them a lot. Um, I, uh, good old games, just like, yeah, you're a friend, we'll give you free games, so. But if you think about it, getting free games is the same as getting paid, so. And good old games is really nice, yeah. I, uh, I only, I, like, I, uh, basically Stephanie was in a, conversation with CDPR where, where that came up, the fact that there is an affiliate program. She knew that I loved the store. She she kind of like... She told me about it. It was a match made in heaven, basically. So, yeah. Jokes on you already like good old games? That's that's why I'm doing it! Because I was like, shit, man. I already, I already use it for everything. This is perfect. Is there another... Oh, no. Aw, oh, his CV. Aw. Oh. We're gonna get a job and work real hard. Team player can work with others even if they're not like me. I don't care as long as the job gets done. Human resource management, conflict resolution, can make problems go away for good. Resilient to extreme stress. Oh, work sanitation. Okay. I was wondering if, like... Ooh, there's more with fire and sword. Get back in there. If I buy, buy a game on good old games, do I need to be logged in to play that game? No. Every game on Good Old Games is uh, DRM free. You can buy a game, zip it up in a file, and send it to your friend, and they can unzip it and play it. Those bloody spiders again! Uh oh. Ooh! I, I messed it up. I don't have another flame sword. Ouch. Ouch. I think I have to... Yeah, I have to get these two. Oh, he's not gonna chase me. Oh, I can... No, I gotta use this one here. Okay. Oh, you have to get all the coins. Wow, we're really doing it. Actual garbage. Thank you for uh, gifting five subs. If you buy Cyberpunk on good old games... Uh, hold on a second. It also means most of the money goes to CDPR instead of 30% going to Steam. That's true. That is 100% true. If, um... If you buy, yeah, if you buy CD, if you buy Cyberpunk on good old games, they get basically, they get all the money. So they don't have to pay another company for the, the luxury of selling their game. Um, <laughs> there's all, good old games also has regional pricing, a full price Cyberpunk, or CP. Cyberpunk costs thirty four eighty six for me? That's awesome! So wait, well, Wheeler, that means it doesn't have regional pricing, right? Doesn't that mean that, like, uh... That it's basically U.S. price in every region, which means it's much cheaper for you. Hope Steam's cut goes down eventually. Yeah, that's what I mean. Epic Game Store is trying to do that. They're they're trying to trying to fight for it. Damn, that's crazy, Will Willow. That's awesome. Let's play the free DLC pack for Witcher Three. Uh, what what would that be? What was the free DLC pack? Okay, well. I have to be here, so this guy has to chase me. But if I go this way, I can't survive. 
So there's no there's no choice there. I have to Oh, it's extra missions? Okay. Then I guess I did. Okay, so I have to I have to do this. I have to get this sword and do that. So what am I missing here? Oh, I was hoping that would work. <laughs> I want Steam to change without me having to do anything and not lose any convenience to me. Yeah, that, I mean, that's the ideal situation, isn't it? I don't... It feels like there's not... There's not an option in any of these circumstances. Then I have to get this. Just run and grab the last coin. I'm not sure what you mean. Run and grab the last coin. Circle around after killing those two. Circle around. circle around. Hold on a minute. Those bloody spiders again! Drag last spider to square. Can't you kill those two, then get the coin? So if I go here... I can't kill these two, because now, like... Oop. Kill the second to last, then kite the last one. Oh, I see what you mean. I, th I think I see what you mean. I see, yeah. You right, you right. Boom! It's so cold I can see my breath. What? It shouldn't be that it shouldn't be that cold inside. Yeah, that's a nice little tune, isn't it? I like it. Was silly. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking would happen there. Oh yeah, this, this isn't good. Yeah, okay. Alright. I think I should have done that. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, hmm. Well, I can't do both, though. Huh. So, if, if I'm gonna try to kite this, this guy out... Gotta, like, do... No, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Because to get him to chase me, I have to be here. I can't be there or there, so I have to be here. Which means I have to get this one out of the way. Grab the north guy first. Yeah, that's true. That opens up the path to that, that sword, at least. Now I can't get him. Unless he's the last one I go for. Um... I think I can do that. I do. Oh, wait. No, this doesn't work. 
Unless... Okay. Uh, no, that doesn't get me anywhere. Dang it. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> we got real puzzles here. Real solid. This kind of reminds me of, uh, of Catherine, how there was like a kind of a legitimate puzzle game just in the periphery. Is there a way to get back out if I go here? I started. There's like no way to get those those two spiders out. Hmm. Let's see. So I think one way or the other, I really do have to get this guy. That means I can't get this one. Damn it, no, I'm already stuck again. Don't you only need to kill one? You can kite that last one. Go left. I mean, I'll use my sword. If I go left, I lose. I need to find a way to extract this guy and this guy with one sword, and I don't think that's possible. Problem is if I move if I move left, I could theoretically go through and get the other sword. But I won't be able to get all the coins. No, I can step here and then no, that's not gonna work. I might be able to loop her around. That might work. Yeah, I think that'll work. Try it. All right, maybe maybe I can. Oh wait, no, I have to use the sword to get back out, and then I'm without a sword. Yeah, right. Ah, it doesn't work. Hmm. This would not be as fun if this jam weren't weren't so tight. But boy, is it ever. Okay, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can make that my destination, basically. Grab this guy, and then this guy. Shit. Well, this is gonna use both swords. Damn it! Um, because he won't be behind me. Okay, hold on a minute. <laughs> Let's just see how many of them. How many of them can I pick up? That's it. Now, is there a way to get the rest of these with one sword?
love that sound of picking up the stupid sword. Fuck. Uh, no, this, this... There we go, okay. Okay. Ugh. Keep forgetting you don't have to kill all the spiders. Alright. Conquered. You have to wait for the next edition of... Of fire and swords and spiders. Of swords and spiders. That almost reminds me of the, like, uh... Lords and Ladies interludes, except it's, it's a cheesy old video game instead of a cheesy old TV show. Nice little, uh, nice little thematic break. Before I stare at the world through my cyber eyes yet again. So, like, that dude was, wasn't really connected to anything, was he? He was just some guy who was dying. I tried to help him and then he died, so now I'm just like, oh well. Lousy ink. Nobody got him in prison. You saw that happen. Some strange looking hair. Not human. Not animal. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Morphine. Some of the counter painkillers. The numbers on them might lead me to Amir's clients. I guess that's just acid? Little tabs of paper? I like how HD and flat those textures are. I guess I took notes out of all that? Am I gonna like... Am I gonna have to... I feel like I'm solving every mystery in this entire building. Man, that's catchy. That is a shit ton of acid, yeah. That's why it's in a... Chiron Corporation ID. Low-level clearance, but still valid. Very waterproof container. You don't really get much scanning every old thing, it seems. It seems like you only got to scan important things. It's not really there to tell you a lot of lore. Jesus Christ. Hell, well, happens the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Leaving the crime scene. Pursuing the lead. The victim's wife could still be in the building. Maybe the neighbors know something. It is zoom and enhance the game, though. You're right. Hey, PD. I'd like to ask you some questions. Certainly, officer. Always glad to do my civic duty. Oh, I hate this guy. Seen or heard anything suspicious lately? Neighbors acting weird? Actually, I did hear some noises coming from 104. Then the woman stormed out of the apartment and ran off. You seem pretty laid back. You do now the building is under lockdown. I was wondering to play this game any good? Well, yes, but eh, it depends what you're into. It, is there? If I you like uh the authorities are handling the situation spooky as like environmental games? Isn't that why I'd say so. Here? If you like puzzles, yes. You know what? Sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Well there you go. Nothing to worry about then. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? The remake is good and the uh the RTX lighting in this actually looks pretty great. Um, it it makes the interiors even more kind of well, it gives the, it gives them a lot more presence. Uh, gives the it gives them a good atmosphere for sure. I think I think RTX lighting, the way that it can kind of render that sort of ch almost like chewy haze in a room. This is my first playthrough. I played it for like an hour and or I I am beyond the point that I played it before. I got like most of the way through that first cyber brain hacking sequence before, so I'm further than that now. Have you enjoyed Yakuza Like a Dragon? Oh yes, I love that game. I'm very excited to play more of it. Uh, but it's not cyberpunk, so it's been it's been benched for now. But I'm very excited to play more of the Yakuza series. 
Did you do on versus off yet? No, but I should. I should. Next time I find like a good glowing space, I think I'll try it. What kind of noises, sir. We'll flick. We'll screaming, breaking. We'll stuff. enjoy the advantages of, much of it. I mean, the Nvidia Corporation. We're always at each other's throats. Ah. You mean these people get violent with each other? Well, I'm not sure about violence. Mostly just arguing, I guess. Today was worse than usual. That's probably why she ran out. Did you see where she went? Well, no, I didn't actually see her. I could smell her, you see. Smell her? Don't tell me you can't. That cheap crap she pours over herself, the entire hallway reeks of it. She probably thinks it makes her seem ladylike. Merci. I got it. Thanks uh, what GPU help. am I using right now? I have a 2080 Ti. Moaning like the whore she is. Whoa! Yeah, biggest fucking cock tease you've ever seen. Always toying with me, bending over when reaching for the lock. All naked underneath her clothes. She knows I'm watching too. She likes to make me itch. Cooped up with that junky meathead. I mean, what does he have that I don't? They're all like that, you know? Fucking mongoloid bitch. Now I hope she gets what she fucking deserves, so that she knows she's fucked up. She'll have no choice but to come to me, begging. But it'll be too late, you hear me? Too late! Okay. How about you shut the fuck up? Well, that was certainly uncalled for. Good day to you, officer. <laughs> yeah, that dude's a real nice guy. Jesus Christ. That kind of came out of nowhere. Oh. Okay, alright. I guess I already tried 103. No answer. Yeah, that dude, that dude's making incel, uh, inceling is his profession. Hey, yo! What's wrong, sir? I can hear you out there! Oh, Help me, please! I heard this awful noise. What's going on? There's been a lockdown. A lockdown? Being, a, being an incel is my passion oh. and my curse. Oh, God, please, not today! Women are just strolling around naked under all their clothes. They know it. They know it! They know they've got boobs under there. And they expect us to not think about that all the time and get viciously angry. They expect that. Ridiculous. Well, what's so special about today? U utterly absurd. I was scheduled to undergo a, a medical procedure. It's a private matter. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not talk about it. So just help. Sir, I'm wondering if you've seen anything suspicious lately. I haven't seen anything. In over 40 years. Ah, that's your condition. I, I... I really don't feel comfortable talking about it. Fine, I won't waste your time then. Hey, wait, I did hear something. Quiet footsteps, deliberate, heavy breathing, angry, not hiding, hunting. Hmm, anything else? The smell. It seemed uh, oddly familiar. Reminded me of my childhood. Your childhood? Yes. My family lived outside the city with all men. Partner called my boobs videos. milkers earlier today when and I was rain, speechless. The smell would be similar. That's what happens when you're that proud, I assume. When you're that intensely complimented. I can see how being stunned is a normal reaction. Just, oh, really? I can't believe it. Finally. He must be very proud. I'm still in there. Deep. 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 Where am I? Deep. There I am. <laughs> Look at me peeking. Look at me peeking. Hey there. Hey. See you. Oh, jeez. Do you like that design, though? I don't know why there's so many birds in here. Maybe they get locked in or something? <sighs> okay. I don't know that I have a whole lot of leads right now. Somebody walked away. Oh, tattoo parlor? Okay. I guess that's where they're indicating me to go now. Alrighty. Or if you do the Hong Kong motion with your hand. Mega milkers. It's the only it's the only gentlemanly thing to do. It's 
how you celebrate your, uh, your anniversary. Maybe I just wanted you, wanted you to know. I wanted you to know, and I've always wanted you to know, that you got a real prime set of milkers. Anyway, let's go to the Chinese buffet. Cool. I'm gonna eat so much broccoli beef, and then pass out and fart on the couch. That'll be our anniversary. <laughs> Ah, uh, romance. Whoa! Calm down now. Always mannequins. I'll tell you what, though, that mannequin's got a real set of milkers. Although they wouldn't... They wouldn't really be milkers if they're plastic, would they? Well, we're, we're asking the real deep cyberpunk questions now, aren't we? I'm glad to see Cyber Week's off to a strong start. It's definitely a sex doll. Jeez. I bet there's a real human lady just sitting under there. What a prank. <laughs> she tabbed over to hear that. <laughs> Always, uh... I do appreciate creating uh, spontaneous moments where people bomb in on the worst or the weirdest things. The weirdest English phrases. It's a bit conceited to think, but part of me hopes that Every time I stream, I say at least one phrase that has never been said out loud before. That's tasteful. I do like that. Like the one circle? Not to pivot too hard here, but my partner asked me today, what if nipples could blink and I can't unsee it? Like the whole areola just kind of flapping? Hmm. I've certainly seen some, like... There's, like, shy nipples. That's almost like a... A nipple blinking. That's worse than if nipples could breathe? What if, what if nipples could drink? Just... Just drop one into a glass and, like... Hmm. Hmm. Refreshing. Speaking of... <laughs> stream is not cursed. This is cyberpunk. Oh no. Those bloody spiders again? Spiders are on the escalator again. Oh, I've already lost. Oops, yeah, right. I don't know where I'm going with this. Nope. Gotta admit, I don't really have a strat. You gotta get these all with one sword, or... No, I just have to get to the exit with one sword now. The sword's down there. I can't come from the top. Get to that sword! If I come down this way, I die. If I come down this way, I die. Oh, wait. I don't need to get it at all. Just go to the wizard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took me a second. Oh, bloody spiders again! I can't believe these... God damn spider! Oh, what the heck is that? Super spider. Oh, does it kill other spiders? There's dead spiders there. What's that all about? Oh, okay. Ooh, and he moves two at a time. All right. Ooh.
Yes. I'm doing it. Oh! Dr. Eleven in with a VIP or ban. Okay. Let's try it. I hope I... Wait, actually, hold on. Let me tab out real quick. Uh, if I've learned anything from uh, from tweaking water break to get working, maybe there's a couple of things I gotta set up first. Okay. All right, here we go. Right, you've got, you've got until I type this out. You got until I type this out on my phone. <laughs> All right, let us, let us rip in peace, for Doctor Eleven, who saved up years of channel points and has been a wonderful viewer, a great participant in chat, but now cannot talk for an entire hour. Ouch. Ooh, that's how it happens. Brawly the Pitbull, though, in with a in with a trading card redemption. Let's do that. Let's do that. I need to remember to look at camera. It's like, it's weird. The camera's the darkest point in my entire setup, so I actually have trouble finding with my eyes sometimes. Uh, my hair is getting so long. This is like, this is getting to like, like emo 90s territory. I'm not sad. I'm not sad at all. I gotta, I gotta get an actual haircut. All right, Brawly, time for you to win a card. It's good that Dr. Eleven can be around for this, uh, to watch on his ghost hovering above all of us. What the fuck is a trading card? Oh, okay, let me let me set up the narrative here. Um, I have this sack of cards, and I give them away. That's it. It's kind of like opening a Pokemon pack, except it's whatever's in this bag, and right now it's a, ooh, an NES trading card for Mega Man 4. Look at that. Look at Mega Man, look at how cool he looks. Neat. Uh, here's. Do you sign them? I can. Sure. If, if people request that, I'll do whatever they want. Uh, Mega Man Four. The Blue Bomber's new nemesis, Doctor Cossack, has created eight new robot masters to take over the world, and Mega Man is coming to stop them. Sixteen levels of explosive action ahead. Uh, challenge: Try to beat the following bosses using only your Mega Buster and without using any energy tanks. Novice is Drill Man. Intermediate is Dust Man, and Pro is Dive Man. So there you go. There, there's your Mega Man power card number 60 challenge. Uh, there you go. You've won it. Oh, sign it, please? Okay, sure. Um, I will either... I'll either uh, DM you, or you can whisper me, one or the other, with your address. Don't put it in... Don't, don't, don't put it in chat. Don't put it in chat. Don't dox yourself, please. No doxing on this stream. <laughs> the only doxing on this stream will be done by me about me. That is how this works. But yeah, I guess I just saved a bunch of cards from when I was a kid. Uh, uh, Nintendo Power would put these like perforated sheets of Nintendo trading cards in, in their magazines for like years running. So those are all just in that bag, along with some other like weird baseball cards and a couple of like weird comic book cards that I rent. I don't know. There were a lot of cards flowing around in the 90s. Even uh, even as a kid, a, a kid with meager meager possessions somehow i just ended up with a lot of cards i don't really care about <laughs> shauna swords 420 west 69th avenue hell yeah bro yeah i live on on dank blunts avenue i am proud of myself for oh wait i'm starting to get cyber vision There used to be serial killer trading cards. It's just that's not. Not all that. Jesus, why is everyone dead? Poor Helena. Was that Helena? She's got a butt though. Shit. We have a third victim. I mean, tasteless observation, but good God, is it out there? Starting forensic analysis. Oh yeah. Here, let's uh. 
Cyber dead, yeah. Here, let's let's try clicking RTX off and seeing how it looks in here. It looks good, I guess it hmm. Let's try turning it back on. It almost makes it look like there's more film grain. Or maybe it's not like, maybe it's not ray tracing every pixel, so there's a weird fuzz to it. Hmm. Psych. Psycho Diogo? Psycho Diogo 81. This is because you managed to defeat Doom Eternal and Ultra Nightmare. A little late, but my subscription to the Prime renewed just now. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate the tip. I don't see a difference. Yeah, there's really not much of one. Um, it's a little more present uh, for me, I think. Um, it really isn't kind of the, the fuzziness of the light, which is really not something that reads very well. Yeah, I imagine compressed and stuff like that. Oh, wait, no. That's... So yeah, you can kind of see it. So let's see here. It's good that it actually updates the still frame. Yeah, so... Like, look here, look here, like, and in the corners and stuff, and basically where light meets meets geometry and stuff like that. With it off, it just looks flatter and straighter. Uh, the, the dimension is kind of gone. The ray tracing on, boosh. Lights kind of close in a little bit. Light propagation just seems a little more, uh... It just seems like it has a little more, like, weight to it. It doesn't just kind of like shoot across the room like a like a laser beam. It just kind of flows a little more. So I don't know if I don't know if that's at all visible what's happening in like this area, but that's probably like closest it gets. It it probably just looks like it gets a little bit darker with ray tracing on. But there's there's a lot of magic in like how light can bounce in corners and things like that. That do kind of make that look it just makes it look kind of like less flat and less video gamey. This is a pretty light touch, though. Uh, pun intended, I guess. What I think would be ideal, and this m actually may be how this is done? Yeah, because there's a lot of light in here. Um, I'm waiting for rooms that are lit by, like, actual point lighting um, with zero environmental lights. So if, like, all the light in this room were coming from these lights here and on the... There's a lot of diffuse lighting in here right now that just generally makes it a very bright room. It kind of needs to be for artistic purposes because of what's going on in here and how they're selling it with the music and everything like that. But uh, I'm waiting for reasons where, or for times when you can have like rooms that are lit by individual real lights and the light actually travels around the room like it would normally. That's when like you get to cool straight up virtual reality stuff. We got a match. So you called to that man in Adam's apartment. Mm. The neural implants untouched. Warning. Attempting a necroneural connection is in direct violation of the Postmortem Observation Act of 2061. Authorization denied. Emergency override. Open maintenance panel. Hmm. Bogazi? Thank you for gifting us up. Oh, Nikki. Thank you for the thank you for the years worth of subs. How you been doing, by the way? Solo, I did get jump scared once. And thank you for the sub, by the way. Actual garbage. Thank you for gifting five subs. And screw monkey. Thanks for the sub. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting to your your sub a little late. Oh. I'm doing good. I'm really excited for Cyberpunk. I'm, I got a little spring in my step, too, because I was able to buy a buy a video card I thought I wasn't going to be able to buy. 
seems like there's some there might be a fun project to work on coming up maybe around cyberpunk but i'm excited for it to ship i'm excited for steph and what it means for her career uh, i'm excited to to celebrate with her and like have have some of the like maybe some of the pressures sort of come off oh i need to play demon souls and bug snacks too nikki yeah Yes, architecture. I'm, I'm very lucky. So, I explained this before, but I'll recap real quick. I essentially, like, EVGA has this queuing system where you just, you queue up and then it actually notifies you in order. Um, and apparently I did that when it came out. And, like, I think 11 days ago at this point, I actually got a notification that it was my turn to buy one. Um, but I only just now remembered about it and I was like, what happened there? And yeah, the, the email totally came. I had eight hours and I just did not see the email. So I wrote to EVGA. They were super nice. They just sent me another courtesy window to buy it again. I bought it as soon as I saw it, and uh, I have a video card. It's awesome. Uh, EVGA is the best. I, uh, they they have they have they have uh, calmed my soul. It's gonna arrive in time for Cyberpunk, which is the only reason I really wanted one. So everything was work. Everything coming up, Lawrence. Everything's coming up, Lawrence. It's great. Sure, I want my homeland to thrive. Why not? Press O. This is awesome. Oh, is it going to be O B E Y? Yeah, it is. Sheeple, getting taught to do it. You're just, you're just a fucking, you're slave to the state, man. Is it going to fit in your case? Yes, actually, Halo do that. It's, it's one of the only cards, 3080s, that's short enough to actually fit in my case. That's the specific reason I, I got on that list. So, zero donuts. Let me flip this hourglass for you. I actually kind of shoved it a little far back there. So, let's bring it on back out. There we go. And put it right back on the desk where no one can see it. And there we go. I had to ace this test. Okay. Yes! All I had to do was whatever they say. Now let's make some photocopies! Reminds me of the baseline test on 2040 or Blade Runner 2049. Yeah, a little similar. Taking your uh, corporate supplication test. Goal! Oh, that chair cyber exploded. Cool. This is kind of what I'm into these games for. Is just you know, hallways of sort of video game expressionism. Wait a minute. Expressionism is not just being expressive. I don't actually know what the art movement of expressionism is now that I think about it. It seemed like the right word to say. Boy, howdy, is there some commerce here? Good room for RTX? Yeah, let's check it out. So what I expect, I expected that like maybe the the, the, the spread of lights from these, these surface lights will probably just get a lot more broad. But let's see, let's see if it actually looks much different. Yeah, it doesn't actually change much here. Let's see. Let's try again. So I see it around this this TV quite a bit. And then like I feel like how light plays in corners is going to be a lot of it. Yeah, it's just it's a lot smoother. Co-worker, have a productive day. Life is fulfilled. Respect for surveillance. Maybe this is a good point. It's, it's very slight. <laughs> this may also just be a pretty slight implementation of, uh, of ray tracing. To make our children happy. To make our homes safer. To make our lives easier. Work hard. It's interesting to see, like, I gotta admit, it's a little weird to see satire of, like, soulless work environments 
from like European companies. Because the cult, the work culture, I don't know. I'm speaking in broad stereotypes, but they largely play. Oh man, that looks good. They seem to largely be pretty true in regards to like the difference between American and European work culture. This fucking slop again. Europeans take that shit easy. Gotta dig in. It's not getting any better. Although I guess that might have been the idealized version. Oh. Work hard every day at the corp. Husband comes home and doesn't like your soup. Follow the cyber snake. You have a 40 hour work week in, in uh, well like, it's like that in like what, two months of paid vacation a year? Like, I feel like American work week is 45 hours, and then you get five days. Oh, 25 days? Jeez. Five days paid vacation. I worked for a lot of companies that was like five days, five paid t PTO days total. So whether you were sick or needed personal time or whatever, whatever, it's just PTO. And then the ultimate grift of all is like unlimited PTO. Give someone unlimited PTO and make it up to their manager and then load them down with so much work there's no way they can ever leave. That way it seems humane, but it's absolutely not. Or it seems cool, like, you just don't work, bro. If you don't want to work, don't. Oh, you have unlimited PTO? Have you been using it, Sino? You've been taking that time off? Damn. One of my professors was at a big time law firm in New York and had 3,000 billable hours in a single year. Damn. Hopefully, st stacking up that money. Ooh. I'm glad to hear that, Sino. I really am, that, that you're actually taking time off. I think maybe. I don't know, it's, it's weird. I feel like my time at, at, at Funhouse and Rooster Teeth could have maybe been a lot more carefree if, if I'd wanted to, but I still don't think it would have. I wouldn't have made as much cool stuff, and uh, I don't think that any, I don't think things would have been much different. Look at all these cool cyber cords. Current client wants me to work 12 hours a day for 8 hours of pay. I'd rather watch this. Yeah, fuck that. Jesus. They want that, they can pay for it. <laughs> I love I love also being a... Man. Being a contractor, being self-employed is so great. Provided you have the... Okay, let's see. Let's see about this. Provided you have the leverage to, to just be like... Okay, to not need every last bit of work. Okay, I feel like this is a good, a good example wall. Of this like really low resolution shadow. It's kind of being stenciled onto the wall behind. You turn that on. Well, okay, that still looks bad, but I guess this stuff. Maybe it's the shadows here. Yeah, this feels like. Yeah, eh, it just seems to like help with by by making ambient occlusion a little more, a little more spread. I don't think this is actually that deep of an implementation of ray tracing. This feels like it's still mostly global illumination with just. A little, a little effect here or there. Ah, uh, Pop Tart, thank you for reminding everyone. Yes, stretch, stretch, and drink water. <sighs> I work at a swimming pool supply distributor, and I work an insane amount of time during summer and a normal amount of time during the winter. Do you ever have like a, a like a really low amount of time to kind of compensate for the rush, the summer rush? I don't... Oh, that's cool. I don't mind the idea of, like, of like really knuckling in and... Or actually, I, I kind of like the idea of knuckling in and getting big, big things done. Um, but it's gotta... It has to be followed by a period where you can sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labor, kind of. Oh. Ooh, we got puzz? We got puzz? Yeah, 
Now let's take a Don't water break. Go. Relax, have some liquid, not too much, and keep your energy up. You looked at the reflections yet? Yeah. Well, there aren't many. There's like a there's a mirror or two around. I'll see if I can uh, next time I track one down, I'll try it. I mean the the scarcity scarcity of the ref whoa, cool. The scarcity of the reflective surfaces. Okay, there's one. Sure. <laughs> Behold the power of ray tracing. Oh, tr look at how trash that is. Come on. You can't see the room at all! But when you enable the full power of ray tracing, wow. Well worth well worth the fifteen hundred bucks, wouldn't you say? That doesn't cost that much, but still. I'm not a game developer, but is it possible RTX is not as noticeable in this game? Because there's this version is basically a remaster of the original, which didn't have it to begin with. I think I think yeah. That's oh jeez. I I think that's correct, and I th I think that's hey, baby, I'm home. also sort of linked to uh, uh, the fact that this is a pretty slight implementation of ray tracing to the degree that you know sometimes uh sometimes PC games carry features as buzzwords a little bit. I'm not saying that not saying that happened here. I really don't know, but. Yeah, there's, there's just a little bit, a little sheen over everything. Kind of gives it, gives it a bit more dimension and character. Is it worth it to get Cyberpunk on release? Can or should one wait? Um, that's that's entirely dependent on free time and disposable income. It seems like for most people, buying a a triple A game is not that not that tough to fit into the budget. Like it's not make or break, and it's gonna. It's really hard to think of a reason why Cyberpunk would not be a good investment. Like if money's an issue or if waiting is a concern. Washing machine. Maybe maybe it's more like you might want to wait because it'll probably be patched. And CDPR is pretty good about adding stuff, you know, hairstyles and clothing dyes or what have you. So if you wait, the game will be in a better state when you do play it, but you gotta wait for it. Is that you? I feel like I didn't didn't do the clock puzzle. Was it even a puzzle? I don't know. I thought it was. I just finished watching Videodrome. I actually haven't seen Videodrome. Somebody did mention uh was it hardwire? Hardware. Hardware, that's the one, the Dylan McDermott one has like Lemmy in it as a as a pontoon pilot. Weird film, but yeah, I can kind of see he that too. It's like a cyberpunk apartment, bad things happening. Cool. Man. Hey Pizza Smoke. Well, thank you. Amir, is that you? Oh, what's up, John? Thank you for the sub. Everybody, everybody wants to show up for Cyber Week. It's so spooky, jeez. Now I got water vision. What's your opinion on unconditional or I thought it I thought it was universal basic income. Unconditional basic income? I guess I guess that kinda almost means the same thing. Quite a few studies being done on, on its effects in Germany. I think it's it might it, it's okay for us to start I think it's okay for us to start questioning certain certain things. I, I think it's it's okay for us to start exploring the fact that we have enough wealth that we can we can experiment with things like this. And if there's no downside, what's then what's the downside? What am I playing Cyberpunk on? PC for sure. For sure. So, if it results in a social good, I have no problem with it. Uh, I think I think it's going to rapidly become like I don't I just don't understand sometimes how we have a 
we're allowing such crazy disparities of wealth when there are very doable and seemingly simple things that'll just massively improve the quality of living for so many people. I just can't. <laughs> At some point, it's like we're saying no to fundamental improvements to the human condition on principle, which is a dumb fuck thing to do. Uh, it's what it feels like sometimes. I try to think of how that logic can get contorted, and certainly it's possible, but damn. Here's your number. What was that? Clinic did I go to? Hmm. Oh, is this like a Is is mom gonna be alright? She's sick. I think on a moral level I'm hundred percent for it. Just a tad apprehensive as to what the roadmap to get there is. Yeah, it's it's I I guess the what is it? I, if I if I put myself in the head of somebody who'd be against it, I guess my thinking would be that, like the the only thing I can really come to on a most fundamental level is people have to work. People have to work. They have to. If they don't work, then they're just lazy, and that's bad. And I'm just like, I think people people will usually find something to do. And if they don't want to do it, they're not going to do it very well. So I guess, like... Same arguments against weed? Yeah, a little bit? Yeah. And and part of me thinks, like... Maybe it's also like, well, if we pay people to sit around and do nothing, then nobody will do the shit jobs. Like, nobody will clean stuff up, and nobody will... Nobody will make robots that... I think... I mean, people still make robots, but... I think it I think it will have like a ripple effect. I'd like to think you'd think there'd be a prestige you have to pay somebody to do work that pe that nobody wants to do, but right now you get to pay them shit. So it's like I don't know. Like how how can you pay farmer or people who like pick uh produce? How can you pay them next to nothing if if universal basic income exists? Uh I feel like I feel like there will it'll cause it'll cause a couple of, of ricochet problems, some of which will be entirely logistic, uh, or sorry, some of which will be like entirely systemic. I think is the word I was looking for. There are like easy jobs get big money, hard shitty jobs get no money. I guess that's yeah, yes, Kuzik, that's a hundred percent correct. There's there's no reason I should I should make what I do doing what I do when other people work far harder in worse conditions. And they get paid much worse, like the correlation between uh between like work level and, and aggravation and compensation is and it, it's not there at all it doesn't exist i guess you know whatever money we made up money anyway so <laughs> it's not a it's not a real concept and it doesn't have any rooting in any kind of like moral or logical basis sure. it's just a tool to kind of give us some kind of structure Let's take some more time to think about it. What is there to think about? You should be happy. Oh, she breaks. I'm not happy. Or is that me? Am I in my own brain right now? Well, uh, yeah, money is fake. Hunger is real. Yeah. I can totally see the U.S. making a half-ass version of not universal hey, based income like the did with federal school loans. A and Corpse will raise okay. the prices of goods to defunct the income like how unis kept raising tuition yeah michael maybe uh yeah maybe the tough thing i think in america is coming up with a system that like you have to imagine a system like that coming under attack from the most profiteering degenerate assholes that have ever lived um and if there's a way to make a buck off of it they will and and to a degree that's that is sort of the virtue of the system is uh or the the unbridled capitalism of the united states so it's it's tough to think about um 
the all the like uh, to some degree it's impossible and that's why experiments are great so uh the problem is like i don't know i don't have a lot of faith because there's a lot of experiments in a lot of nations that imply a lot but it oh that's weird but it hasn't really done anything on the world scale i mean like amsterdam has legalized nearly everything and it's and it's awesome and who cares and yet Things like sex, sex work, and and certain like uh, mushrooms and stuff like that. It's it's going to be interesting, I think, if it becomes a real thing or if people start talking about it seriously in my lifetime, because it will be fun to see the breadth of outrageous and nearly irrational responses that that even discussion would prompt. Maybe I would fucking change the lives of my clients that are homeless and desperate for work. I wish we could. I wish we could have it because their options would be so much better. People against UBI never had to go homeless shelter, or never had to go to a homeless shelter and have no options to make your life better. Yeah, that's true. I feel like uh, I feel like there are people who don't understand the the concept of there being no safety net because they've never had to. Oh, oh. Look at this, look at this sick mirror. Oh! That never felt more like a cool detective. But yeah, every, it's, it's so amazing sometimes to like, like almost as an empathy exercise to try to drill somebody about what they would do if, if they were sued or, or had a medical bill or had to declare bankruptcy or like really walk them through that and you you really start to see the assumptions that people have about the the kindnesses or the i guess no one no one thinks that yeah no one thinks it'll happen to them kind of thing oh yeah speaking of experiments pfizer is running clinical trials for a covid vaccine so you can participate in the study and possibly get vaccinated oh interesting that's cool oh is this the uh was that the abortion machine? Right, or I guess it's the... Now. Just take it easy. It, is it... is it done? Congratulations. You are now the proud owner of a CT-72 internal data storage. Huh. I've given you an accelerant to make the tissue heal faster. Just keep that dressing on for the next couple of days. You, uh... Are you sure they won't find it? It's got a built-in scrambler and a shielded frame. No external scanning equipment can penetrate it. There I go, thinking every it's every art game is about abortion. Undetectable. Unless you know exactly where to look. I lived in a place that had free health care, and it, it really wasn't free. Doctors started making their own private fees. Wait times were years for many. Hospitals ran out of supplies to the point patients fresh out of surgery would have to go to the pharmacy to get bandages and etc. It was horrible. Sorry to repeat. Oh, damn. That does sound very bad. Yes. I guess, I guess theoretically the difference is that in the United States, the United States does possess the kind of wealth that that shouldn't be necessary. Uh, but we are hell-bent on allowing private citizens to keep as much of it as possible. What is this? The hell did you do to yourself? Oh, well, Nick, there's no reason to, to, no reason to say that. Canada has it and it's nothing like that? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like you're getting a little heated. I mean, there's no reason to not believe somebody. Don't even start. I did what I had to. It's about time someone around here showed some initiative. It's possible that two people can have different experiences and they can both be right. I think it's an important thing to think about. Uh, Chicken McGee, thank you for the prime. Should we not aspire to make America's healthcare the best worldwide? People are so apathetic and pessimistic. I feel as though, I feel as though those that think America is the best are least willing to keep striving to make America better. Because yeah, when you're the best, you don't have to do anything. You're already number one, baby. I've dealt with the free healthcare while serving the U.S. Army. The quality can be questionable, especially the mental health stuff. But dealing with appointments and medical felt pretty efficient. Yeah, that is uh, the paperwork aspect and the uh, the bureaucracy is, is is there in force with the United States system. It's just you're dealing with like five different private companies bureaucracies independently, and they all have their own rules and bullshit. Um, so the billing runaround in the United States is is a hell of a thing. 
No one will hire a fucking junkie ex-con. Amir. Do you even know what you're getting into? I wouldn't trust the government with my health care. It takes me two months to get a building permit to, uh, to change a door swing. Well, they would be different departments. But I can understand how you, how you might associate the two. It is possible that uh, a government can, can like treat those two things with different priorities. I don't know that the government is necessarily a machine that only operates at one speed for everything. Public health care is such a hard nut to crack. Only 10 plus countries have done it. Yeah, I, it's... Yeah, there's. I, I'm certainly not here saying that there's any uh, simple solutions, but it's 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 hard to see the current state of affairs and think, well, it's good enough for now. I'm like, no, it's not. No, we can do better. Medication costs 300 a month without insurance. If I lost my job, I couldn't afford my meds. I need my meds to work. I'd rather have my taxes insured that I'd never have to be afraid. I can't get what I need to function to have financial gun to my head in the form of private insurance. Yeah, having that stuff go through private companies is really scary. Like, for all the people who were scared about about the, you know, the slowness of the government or the death panels or whatever, it seems weird to me that you'd be okay with a private company having the, the option to decide whether or not you get to live. Um, like, you don't vote for them. <laughs> You don't get to vote for private companies. You do with your money, I guess. But, uh... It seems like that should be a thing you vote for. That shit is gonna be the death of us. So, like, when, I don't know, a company gets caught participating in an opioid addiction pandemic. I don't know. Maybe there's a sterner consequence. Who knows? Who knows? Just, just floating ideas. I, I'm only saying that because I actually don't know for sure what the final ruling on that shit was, but it's usually like a, oh, a $5 million fine. Whoa. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not getting to the point where I'm just being vaguely and <laughs> vaguely annoying about topics I don't know that much about, so I should, I should swerve it back towards the middle here. Capitalism and the system it has wrought in the U.S. is fundamentally flawed to serve only the most wealthy. And it is that way on purpose. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Eh, I don't know that I'm enough of a historian to critique the, uh, the intent behind the, uh, financial and governmental structures of the United States. Oh. Is he actually in this... Oh, do I get to chase... Do I get to make him chase me like a spider? Ha ha ha! Pretend like I have a flame sword and you're chasing me. Ho ho! Ho ho ho! Uh... I think, I think that's, that's certainly become the case. Um, certainly there are, there are politicians who are indebted to financial resources to get elected, and then they have to repay that favor. But, you know, there's campaign finance, regulation, and all that stuff, so it's a tug of war. It always, always will be. Checks and balances, you know? So I think, I think there's enough evidence in at least the United States form of government that there were supposed to be tools and safeguards to prevent against uh, the complete monopolization, uh, monopolization of decision making. Like that's st that stuff is, is very much in there. So I don't know that I agree that the governmental structure is uniquely designed to serve the rich. But, you know, money is power and power is pretty good about, about maintaining power, so. That's just the way it goes. Doesn't mean you can't can't fight it though. Or be annoyed by it. Ah, oh, you got me. That's what happens. That's what capitalism does to you. This is now I'm now a smart political streamer. Y'all motherfuckers need Talos. <laughs> Talos keeps everything simple. That's what I like about Talos. No, I always come back to a couple of a couple of core concepts. Is that like that was cool? That was a really cool transition. I don't know how that looked on Twitch, but that looked cool as hell. Um, 
is that um, systems are never perfect because they're not glorious, perfect computers. Uh, humans are, are flawed, funny, finicky, weird, irrational little things. And so any any system that is created to, con to conduct the affairs of a bunch of weird little people that are all being weird all day, just fucking being as weird as they can, um, it's it's gonna have lumps, you know. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna it's gonna be less than ideal. The frustrating thing is when you can observe improvements in the world and then still refuse to implement them or even experiment with them. That that's when it gets weird. When it's like, well, why not, man? When when to me at least, with my weird little brain, something seems like it's a a clear cut by the numbers improvement. Well, money, whatever. Wouldn't it be wild if, like, out of nowhere, just by, like, talking on talking on stream and playing video games and talking with people, we actually did figure it all out? Like, figured all of it out. Not even just one or two problems, but, like, all of it. Came up with, like, the perfect form of government. Figured, figured out, like, money, the idea of possessions, just managed to rewrite it mentally. Oh, shit. Should have been up to this the whole time. Yeah, everything. All of it. Oh, this is pretty cool. Slightly reminds me of that scene in, like, Matrix when Neo's got to dodge around from the agents. Absolutely everything. We solve it all. <laughs> Let's not say free healthcare, it's taxpayer subsidized healthcare. Yeah, but the the idea is it's, it's free. Like, it's free in the way Trump says things are free. It's free because we're already paying for it, and we're paying a lot for it, and it's really inefficient. So, it's free because we're wasting the money we're putting into it right now, and the another system would provide the same or better healthcare for less money. Uh, really, like, if if you want to get a some kind of grasp on on why that terminology is used, I mean, it is branding, right? You want something, you want you want people to want it. Uh, so you gotta you gotta throw some branding on it, but I, I do think there's still legitimacy to uh, to calling it that. Yeah, it's like free roads or free public schools, pretty much. Yuck. Can you imagine if the only if only God, the idea of private school in general is also kind of creepy. Why would you want a corporation to teach people? Yeah, it's Medicare. We already have it. I'm at the drunk level where I'm echoing me by yelling things like, You're already paying for it! <laughs> After he does, time to get some water. <laughs> I shouldn't I shouldn't be getting into heavy topics, too. It's, uh... And I'm not even trying to. Just kind of tripping into it. Yeah, charter schools. All of the vouchers? Oh, that's cool. I'm getting swirled by icons. Whoa. Eh. 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 I heard some news hosts talk about the wording of it before. If you call it government health care, you immediately give the impression that people shouldn't want it. If you call it public health care, people are more amenable. Yeah, that's, uh... I mean, that's... To me, and in, in, in almost to beat that is kind of the American dream. Is when, uh... Is when, like... Those kind of concepts do become accepted and normalized and then there's entire agencies that come up with catchy phrases for your political movement that is actually meant to like help people but you have to get the money together to pay the ad agency to come up with the slogan yeah so there's money to change this like people making money just off that endeavor shit happens i'm a medicare administrator i mean this this system could flip overnight no problem damn really crazy Public is shit in other countries. May or may not apply to your country or regions. Extra rates may apply. Mario, that, that may be, but you know what? Private private can be pretty shit, too. Um, I feel like... I feel like people always think about the, like, really nice hospitals. Like, the really gleaming interiors and everything's clean and new. And they have all this tech and all these, like, hot blonde chicks sitting behind the bench and stuff. And it's just like... I've, man, I've, I've been to, like, neighborhood doctors. They're not like that. With private, it is your choice. If you don't have money, it's not. So that's kind of the issue, is that 
it, it's it's leaning back into classism uh yeah it's the illusion of choice those those big gleaming hospitals are x fucking expensive and they're super not in every network so the job you have pays for your health care that determines the network you're allowed to visit that determine the doctors you see and if like you're not gonna you're not gonna get the big gleaming hospitals and you know what's extra fun is when there's a medical emergency and you get treated at a hospital that your network doesn't cover but that was never a conversation because it wasn't it was a you know an emergency so sometimes it's not your choice and you get stuck with the bill anyway so I don't know like that's not good we have public and we have private in Finland so you get a choice yeah I guess I guess that's what bums me out why wouldn't the private private industry be willing to compete with public um, I've come up with school where you only get one public choice. Gotcha. That is true. Yeah. And there are, like, people get in trouble for sending their kids to other other districts. Well, that's why you ha that's why parents typically evaluate that when they decide to move somewhere, which lends it into all sorts of other concerning patterns of behavior. So, it... I am going to very sublimely cross my arms and say, it's complicated. But yeah, shit's wild, man. Ugh, that is so cool. Ugh. Also, the sound of banging on a door is very anxiety-inducing. Ugh. Who put these tentacles in the cabinet? Where did my peanut butter go? Oh. Somebody move my goddamn peanut butter! As a crony, I'm constantly paying medical bills and for my medication, it's not cheap. <sighs> it's not cheap and it has to become such a fixture in your life, which is annoying. Yeah, rub this kid's rub this kid's gums down with some whiskey, huh? Humira is the cash cow of the drug industry. I... I think I... I've seen ads for that. What is that one again? That's one of those take me or you'll die medications. <laughs> oh, Jesus. used for lots of treatments. Oh, it's an immunosuppressant. Oh, okay. The f that is not a good sound. These are bad sounds. God for ray tracing. I've only thought one thing since I started playing this game, and it's thank God for ray tracing. Oh, okay. I gotta drag baby TV in here now. You want anxiety from door knocking? Look up the Tucker Zone on YouTube and watch with headphones in. It's insane. I've seen a few YouTube videos where it's like, yeah, X characters is trying to get in your house late at night. I assume it's something like that. Oh, another ah, Jesus Christ! It gives me wobble visions. God. through this like oh okay baby tv makes things not so ridiculous all right i get it now okay oh 
Oh, it's been a rough week for you. I'm sorry to hear that, Nick. Oh, wait, there's... Is it on the other side? What the heck? Oops. What? Hey. Oh. What? That doesn't seem right. Okay, now I can take the baby down the hallway, though. Yeah, this is Redux. What is this game? Uh, Observer. System Redux. It's a remake of Observer. I think a 2017 game. A cyberpunk horror game from Bloober Team who made Layers of Fear and Layers of Fear 2. And uh, Blair Witch, which is pretty good. They make spooky hallway games. This appears to be another one of them. I'm a pretty big fan of their work, so... I never actually finished Observer, though, which is weird, because it's like... Spooky hallways and it's cyberpunk. Who wouldn't want that? Man, this is a no-baby room. Sorry, baby. Peace outside. For real? Okay. Where's the plug for this one? Got to the end and it glitched out. Every moment up to that was gold. I'm very sorry to hear that. Yeah, Pat, man. I'm, uh, I'm revving up the cyberpunk engines. Playing cyberpunk games! Playing this for a bit. I'm about to switch to, uh, to Ghost Runner. And then there will be a, uh, cyberpunk media tech later. Because I, uh, I added a ton of cyberpunk-related clips. So might as well get mileage out of them right now. I want to plug it into that. So, man, kid coughs. Ugh. Where'd he go? There you are. Oh, you can't. That's interesting. Probably gotta plug him in there, huh? I think it's Cyberpunk to live up to the hype. Uh. Looks like we got all of it. So, what is all of this? I think it. I think it will. It'll satisfy people. Well, it's I think. Probably best if you don't know. Exactly. So I don't think people, like, some people will gush about it, some people will be like, yeah, it's pretty good. But since they were so hyped up in the first place, they're going like, yeah, it's pretty good. Like, I think that is an exceptional response for a game that has, that people have gotten so excited for. And I think that's where most people land. Like, yeah, it was pretty good. Like, I feel like Cyberpunk will be the Witcher 3 that people will actually play all the way through because it has guns and it's first person. Um, I'm pretty confident that, like, there's a lot of people that probably would have really liked Witcher 3, but probably didn't play it much. Because it just seemed maybe a little too intimidating, or or they were turned off by like the swords and the magic and shit like that. Um, but Witcher 3 sold sold crazy good over the next like three or four years. Um, I think Cyberpunk will be the sort of the same thing. It'll probably sell really strongly right out of the gate just because it, it has all the gamer attention. But I think over time, everyone will probably pick it up through sales or re-releasing on as yet unforeseen platforms. It's gonna be fine. Like, if Nintendo puts out a like a Switch Pro in uh, 2021 and then they port Cyberpunk to that, that shit's gonna sell like banana cakes. Hot, steaming banana cakes. So, I think it's like... 
I, th I think it'll it'll probably like satisfy the the big gamers on release. There there will definitely be a crowd that uh, like their expectations were so wildly uh, unrealistic in the first place that there's no way. Like no no like the best video game in the world could launch and they'd still be upset at it. That there's going to be that for sure, without question. What I'm kind of like, I don't know. My mind is my mind is as time goes by, my mind is slipping more and more to the fact that there's going to be a ton of search traffic for it, and there's going to be a fierce. I don't think I could do this anymore. There's going to be a fierce wokeness battle about cyberpunk. You're being paranoid. People are going to like one's on to you. choke on their own spit trying to come up with a, the wokest cyberpunk like take. Watching. Yesterday, this There's gonna be a ton of cultural commentary. Like, I can kind of feel it. I, I could just tell he knew. If they knew, we all. And it's gonna. Hold on, I gotta pause this. It's gonna be that situation where even the writers don't want to write about it, but there's so much search traffic that they have to. So like, and then it's gonna become this thing where people are gonna be arguing about bullshit that doesn't have anything to do with the game anymore. Um, yeah. Then the quartering already put out a dumbass video about it. Of course. Everyone's gonna do a ton, a ton of videos, ton of articles, ton of everything. It's gonna be uh, interesting how games can inspire culture like that. It's just everyone swimming in the wake of, of popular entertainment. That's truly what it is. I mean, games inspire culture like that because there's money to be made yelling about yelling about it on the internet. Uh, didn't that already happen? The Last of Us Two? Yeah, a bit. Yes, that's true. Hmm. Yeah. So, probably again, except this will be, like, I, f I still feel like Last of Us 2 is probably not as widely anticipated as Cyberpunk, so um, the headline traffic will inspire a different kind of, of commerce, I think, when it comes to clicks and videos and things like that. Q&A questions tweet from the Cyberpunk game account is already filled with questions about that stuff. Uh, what stuff specifically? Strikes me as an odd thing to take issue with, given what fraud and revolutionary times we live in. Ah, uh, Lord Lupulin, you were 100% correct. It is odd. It is very strange. But that's... People are uh, really fired up about, <laughs> about video games. Maybe they're just messing with our heads. And what purpose would that serve? I don't know. To get their fucking sadistic load off? That's not how they operate. Trust me, it was with the corporation long enough. Oh. Asking about representation issues? Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get your... I lost your previous message already. Yeah. I have the ceiling in my gut, Cyberpunk will be good. But it's being set up to fail similar to No Man's Sky because of how hyped up it's being and there's no way it's going to satisfy people's expectations. I don't think that's necessarily true. I don't think any of the things that they've actually said are... Uh, are unattainable. Or misrepresent the game. Whereas No Man's Sky, like the... The vision that he... The vision that was basically allowed to, to spread was thoroughly unattainable or uninteresting. I feel like that's the big thing. No Man's Sky kind of, with the exception of multiplayer, did what it said it was going to do. Nobody just thought to question if that was going to be any fun or not. And that's kind of the big, for me at least, that was the big issue I took with No Man's Sky. People seem to like it now, so that's good. Um, but like you've seen gameplay loop from cyberpunk that's something no man's sky never showed they didn't actually show gameplay before launch they just showed flying around and that was it and the game did that um but i think through night city wires and all the gameplay trailers and stuff they've actually shown the game doing all the things they said it was going to do with potentially the exception of like really telling you how extensive the branching storylines are going to be oh dimmy thank you for the sub good day lawrence mate Stopping by to say I'm catching up on all your Witcher VODs. The one dad bod girl possessed at the wedding while you played 1992 over the top actually killed me. I've been listening to that song every day. Uh, that's perfect, right? God, Geralt can dance, can't he? Should have been called Sky Simulator. Yeah, that's basically what it was. It was like Fly from Space to Ground Simulator. 
Also, yeah, it ran really poorly. I don't know, if, if like, if Cyberpunk's super buggy and it runs really bad and it's not, and it's like not fun. But none of the previews have really said that like, that was, so wait, there was like a, there's like a cyber demon that was eviscerating him? Get help! Every scary hallway game must have an, an eyeball tunnel. Oh! Jesus Christ. dead bird there yeah that was pretty sick some that's what's cool about these games is when they ratchet up the intensity they, they basically seem like interactive music videos Jeez. it didn't have to be this way Okay, so I guess there is a boogeyman that went around and killed them. I guess there's like a... Like a corporate assassin. I think they might be journalists or something. No? I don't know why they would... I am. I gotta... Take the drugs I found on the bathroom floor. Zoop! Damn, okay. And that's, I mean, that's kind of similar to the, uh, the flow of other Bloober games. Is you'll, like, you'll enter, you'll enter, like, a, another state. Some kind of, like, spooky area, and then the spookiness will ratchet up in intensity until you have this crazy crescendo, and then you go back to normal. Planning on doing scheduled stream for Cyberpunk? Yeah. Uh, I don't know when my first stream's gonna be. Because I just want to make sure that I can, I can take time to sort of... Hang out with Steph and celebrate that moment, and also be there for her in case she needs anything. Um, she's gonna be working then, and it's an important moment. Um, playing with ray tracing turned on, I am. It's actually pretty slight in this game, aside from the the reflections are real good. I do like that. Let's see here. It does it does make environments just a teensy bit less like bright and video gamey, just a teensy bit. So this is without. I think the big the big places you see it are kind of how darker, much darker, uh, the corners get, and like how quickly light fades away from a source. It just kind of darkness sort of crowds in a little better. It's really slight though, um, but it still gives it a really cool look. Makes me excited for Cyberpunk, which I think will also have a pretty slight implementation of ray tracing. It seems like most 
implementations aside from like Quake 2, which has like global ray traced illumination, is a uh, are pretty slight. It seems like. Mostly because it's like they have to blend it with traditional lighting methods and everyone's really good at traditional lighting methods right now. Not sure if Cyberpunk has difficulty levels, but if it does, you're going to be doing the hardest one. Yes. Partially because, well, first of all, I want to. I'm curious what kind of RPG it's going to be. But second of all, I also kind of want to take longer so that other people can outpace me if uh, if they want to burn ahead on the story. Um, I think I think that will slow me down. So if I get like gate checked at a boss or something like that, then I've got to like, then other people can just blaze through it. Okay, I think that'll do it for Observer for today. Uh, this game's cool. I did not know it was so bloober, which is a dumb thing to say, but yeah, it's just like kind of the same gameplay flow as Layers of Fear, but things just look a little techy. That's kind of cool. Perfect. That means I have a whole blooper game I haven't played yet. Uh, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go uh, stretch a bit. Have some water. Water. Now let's take a water break. Relax. Have some liquid. Not too much. And keep your energy up. Uh, and then I'll be back with Ghost Runner. So see you guys in a bit. Thank you really, really.